Just because Dark Souls can get a little bit loud in the, the Demon Ruins. I'm so excited to be in the Demon Ruins. It's been a long time. I am glad that you are excited because I just I don't like the Demon Ruins. They're not very good. Um, but I, I feel like there's something enjoyable about, like... I love that, like, if you look even remotely close, the dragon's head is obviously just the helmet, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like, still, I'm just like, well... Yeah, it's... Look, we. I tried to get the fucking torso, but no one wants to fucking. No, no one wants to duel. All right, all right, and let's get started here. So, three, two. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to With Love from Lordran. It's me, Dia, and there's Derby, and we are once again joined by a very special repeat guest. Oh, there's a person just shadow just there. That's their titties. What up, bitch? Uh, we're joined by a special guest. That, not that ghost. Um, none other than Trevor Strunk at Hagglebun on Twitter. Trevor. Hi, Dia. Say hi. Yeah, you did it. Hello. Hey. Yeah, I um, I, I like to think that that ghost was my character just bursting into game, but um, I don't think it was. I think that was something else. So last time um, we had uh, we had Michael Lutz on and we... we did the the demon or not the demon ruin we did the duke's archives <laughs> um and derby decided she in addition to liars monarchs um the clergy and um well most clergy uh, it's got a real list going yeah uh, she also is incredibly mistrustful of sorcery now um, oh she's not a big head logan person no we left him there um oh, we wow. were gonna go to kill him um, and then Derby decided, no, we'll just leave him to rot in his prison. Um, That's harsh, but you yeah. know what? It, it's fair. And then we All went right. and we murdered his apprentice. His apprentice was going to go look for him, and uh, we just we just murdered him. Uh, well, because, at at the Firelink Shrine. At Firelink Shrine, yeah, because yeah. Um, Derby's Derby does not trust sorcerers after seeing the kind of like just depravity that they can unleash on the world. Um, fair enough. You know, uh, we left we left our friend, um, the 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 sorceress blacksmith um, in New, near New Londo. We left him because Derby figures like like Logan, he's imprisoned. But these free wandering uh, sorcerers, no, that's no good. Um, Are there any others? That's all of them, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 okay. all of them, yeah. pretty much. Um, yeah. and so now we're back here. We got to go do the demon ruins, and. Um, Derby doesn't have a problem with 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 these folks so far. They seem to mind their own business. They're not, they're a little sad, um, you know. Yeah, but... no, everyone's a little bummed out down here. Yeah. I think everyone involved with the um, with the 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 coterie of witches <laughs> is having a hard, a rough time. Yeah. Um. So so that's what's that's what's up here. Um. Um. We do need to do one thing. We need to. Do, oh no, I need to actually munch. Need to munch some of these first, uh, because yes. I I know the secret knowledge that um, <clears throat> there's there's going to be an invader uh, up ahead. Um, oh, one of those one of those invaders that uh, the game uh, includes for you in case yeah. you haven't gotten lucky enough to be invaded. We actually don't need to do this one here. We'll, get, we'll just go down to the right, the correct one, and do it there. I'm never gonna see that guy, that that character, without thinking, "Oh, I killed that guy because I was scared of him." Makes you know, so you're not you're not necessarily wrong to kill Angie. <laughs> um, and, and Yigi, Angie, I don't know. It's, it's, he's got a he's got a name full of uncomfortable sounds. His the name. He's got his, a rough life. He I'll, really I'll he really does, but he seems happy in his work. You think so? Um, yeah. I, yeah. You know, he's just. Oh, yeah. See, these guys, these guys were the ones that scared me. Because if you get too close to them, boy. Yeah. Well, it's really. It's, give you a hard time. Some of them are hostile and some of them are not. And, like, the hostile ones just kind of come out of nowhere. And mm -hmm. it's. Yeah. So we're going to reverse our hollowing because we need to be. Now, isn't it also that the. Um, I may be remembering this wrong, but don't they give you, like, that weird parasite? status too i think you can get the, the the egg the the brain egg from them yeah um very strange status i don't remember there's a reason there is a reason to get it like it, it's weirdly enough there's like a 
uh, there is a benefit to it. I don't remember what it is. Um, Seems like there should not be a benefit to getting an egg in your brain. Though it is really funny because if you do get it, it's progressive, right? So like um, you'll just initially notice you'll have it because you'll start scratching your head. Right. It's really great when that happens. Um, what does it eventually do? You know, I don't know. I don't know if it actually does anything. I don't know if it like ultimately erupts uh, well, or not. But um, okay. Well, let's see, repair equipment. Do we have? Yeah, we want to repair. Got to repair that. Oh yeah, we should repair this shit. Just because we're we're going into a zone, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do things. So these are the demon ruins. Um, I I generally it's and it's funny because like people are like oh like this is the section of the game that's unfinished and. You know, it's really rushed and there's no like good lore, blah, blah, blah. I don't like it because it just reminds me of a bad, an angry Italian restaurant. <laughs> it's true. Um, like it's just, it's just red and there's bad columns and there's just all these, these bloated people around. And it just, it just like, I'm just like, this is, a, this is one of those like, uh, like, you know, interstate strip mall Italian restaurants where like the food's actually not bad, but just you don't want to be there longer than you need to. Um, and you're like in the middle of like, you know, Ohio. Um. It is kind of an Ohio <laughs> feel, feeling place in here. You know, um, it, it is. So let's by see. the way, I found out that if you get, if you get the egg uh, head uh, problem, eventually an egg grows on your head covers your entire head it takes up uh, 200,000 souls that to get there. <laughs> that is what it does that's right i knew it did something cool um that's pretty sweet actually apparently there's no use for it other than i guess it turns your front kick into a uh, a larval attack yes um, which is neat yeah but uh okay so so yeah so people people don't like this this zone for a lot of reasons some people really love this zone um i just it just i just unnerves me and like just, it, just it's makes never me... been one of my favorites i i think like the unnerving part of it is neat in that like i think this early bit is kind of fascinating and that like the the egg people are terrifying um yeah i and like the initial enemies down here are interesting too but like there's not it's not even that there's not enough lore it's that like the build-up doesn't lead to anything so it feels like oh geez we're really entering like this hell and it's just kind of it feels very liminal and, and kind of pointless. Yeah, it's it's also it's very weird. Like there's like this. Um, we already did some of this. We did parts of of, of uh, the demon ruins already because mm. I needed to go. I wanted to try and get some, a proper strength weapon for Derby. Smart. Um, yeah. But I didn't get it. Um, but there's like over in this section back there, there's like initially there are like six Taurus demons um that just are it's all just hassle. like they're just like you know clone stamped in and it's just like why are they here what's what's their purpose um, this is the only place in the game that really i can feel the clone stamping yeah like, i know there are other parts where it's like okay we're doing the same enemies over and over again and that's like a common complaint in some of the the souls games that people are like well they didn't get finished but like that area you just described is the only place i really feel like okay you just like copy pasted these guys in yeah, um, you really do you kind of feel it in this in this in this zone, and it's it's okay. Like you know, I don't I don't mind. The zone doesn't really give me problems the way like it could, but it's just um, I think the thing is like this opening area is so much more initially interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then like it end, ever ends up being like. Well, the, you see the roots. The roots are super cool kind of go along with our tree discussions yeah and there's like this like there's this whole like this structure like the freeze yeah 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 and like it's like it's like almost like a giant like you know like what is it like it's like an urn almost like, like an upside down bolt just this giant domed dish structure that's just growing all this shit on top of it and there's like magma and tree root and just like what um, but it's, then... it's funny that people don't like it because there's a lack of lore, which I, I get, but like, it, it honestly is one of those things where like, even if there was, you wouldn't even need lore. Like for me, for this to really kind of like be a more satisfying zone, 
it's like building on it from like a level design thing. Like you don't have to actually like tell me what it is. Like even that like, you know, oh, we, we interact with the, the wall in some way or like it leads to a way down or something. Like I would be okay with that. It just it just feels like there's a lot shown to me and all we get to play in is like a flat area. Mm hmm. And like there's like, you know, the big the one of the big set pieces for it is like, OK, so there's ceaseless discharge who we ended up killing um because i wanted to oh, poor ceaseless discharge yeah sad brother well and it's like it's weird because that that's the opening of the zone you can't you can't go through demon ruins until you take care of ceaseless discharge and like it's interesting because i'm of two minds on the one hand you kill this thing and then you find out his significance you know yeah but yeah. i don't know that like oh shit i forgot there's some mini forest demon saw you so he's a mini Capra. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. But he's not mini a Capra anymore. <laughs> apparently, damn. But yeah, I know. Wow. Oof. Jesus, Derby. Derby is Derby, get your flask okay. out. Um. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, I think that was interesting learning about his lore, right? Like, after you read what you get from the box. Yeah. But there is. It would have felt. It, I mean, it's the same way with all of the the sort of like the various, you know, witches and etc. Like, there's a really interesting family dynamic there that I know that Dark Souls like plays on the idea of not spelling it out for you, which I think is cool. But I wish they would give you a few more breadcrumbs for them because mm -hmm. it's, it's it's fascinating. Like, it's super interesting, and like I feel like I never really get the full breadth of it. And so, so this is, this is, we gotta, we gotta look at the, the, the wall art, you know, how we do. Of course, of course. Um, and so we've got these, you know, these tendrils here, like we clearly have, like we're, we're just, it's just like the structure of like growth, um, and o really overgrowth at like the wild growth that like is mirrored all around us. Um, because that's chaos, baby. Oh no. <laughs> Like, and that's the thing. So the demons, the demons are basically what they're creatures of chaos. So this, this is the, this is like the all lava. Lava is the chaos flame or whatever, or it comes from the chaos flame. Like this is all right. Um, ceaseless discharge is ceaseless discharge because he was born of, you know, the chaos flame uh, and, and what's her face. But like, yeah, like this, this whole section right here. Oh, it's just, it's just, oh, here we go. There's that oh, bitch. Oh, sweet. There he is. Fucking Kirk. Kirk, baby. This guy's cool. He's the Knight of Thorns, and he's going to yeah, get pancaked like to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two wow. shot Kirk. Wow. Peace the fuck out, Kirk. Um, Dang. And we got Humanity. We got Spike Shield. We got Spike the Barb shield. Straight Stored. Fucking love Kirk. Um, Kirk is. I love Kirk. Uh, I do too. I, think I he, like the. Is he a dark okay. wraith? He's a dark wraith, right? Yeah. I believe that's right. I I love I love his his stuff. I love that you can roll and hurt people with it. It's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. The 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 premise behind Kirk. Kirk is the Knight of Thorns, and let's let's just see. Let's we got his stuff right here. And those why not? Right. Those Taurus demons aren't going anywhere. They're just gonna sit there like they assholes. sure aren't. <laughs> um. That's that's part of like the thing is it like there's no real movement in this zone. It's just. Like, yeah, it, it, it that's right that's a good point like it is very unlike any of the other places where you're like okay i gotta keep my head ah, with yeah. me shield of the infamous dark wraith kirk knight of go. thorns covered in spikes can be used as a weapon shark spikes cause heavy bleeding um and the listeners at home the the deal with kirk's stuff is you can put kirk's set on and i think you just need the shield there's um but his whole set is if you roll around you can you can literally just dodge roll around people and not only cause damage but inflict bleeding on them and you can just absolutely ruin people's <laughs> doing that it's a it's a nice yeah, it's a nice invasion tech like meta i would say yeah the choice weapon of the infamous dark wraith kirk also known as the knight of thorns for the gnarly spikes on his favorite weapon the frightful sword deals only thrust attacks and causes heavy bleeding. And it not only does thrust attacks, that's weird. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of, I like that because it's like a thorn. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, thorns don't really slice so much. They 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 they're, they're well they're jagged, but that's mostly it. Yeah. Like they can. I think like what's cool about Kirk is is it also sort of suggests this um this weird I, I don't know how to explain it like it the, the serial killer of, personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, the the implications of uh, being invaded by someone who is an NPC are really interesting, right? Because like it it sort of puts you in a weird kind of position within the world of of Dark Souls. Like, how are they invading you? Where are they coming from? Why do they want to kill you? Like the 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 PvP stuff kind of makes sense within the the, the guilds and stuff, like or the uh, covenants and stuff. But these NPC ones that come out and have their own lore are just kind of fascinating that way. Like, I have no idea what to make of them. And Kirk is interesting, too, because I think so that I'm pretty sure that's either the second or the second or the last time we see Kirk. There's We see Kirk uh-huh. three times. Kirk appears three times. None of the other Invader NPCs do that. Right. Um, but, like, he's, you know, um, you know, uh, next season on, on the Dark Souls Let's Plays, uh, we get into the pursuers who, you know, they 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 pursue you literally. So they uh, do, yes. <clears throat> but like Kirk almost does this in a, like a way, and we'll find out eventually. The dark dark wraiths are a covenant just devoted to just inflicting misery and death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, and for for no real apparent reason. They just they serve darkness. Yeah, it's good to them. But like, look at this. Like, okay, so we've got one, two, three, Capra's? four, five fucking t- mini Taurus demons or Capra demons. If you're also, if you get to this place early, like, I think my first playthrough, I got here early. This is just like the whole thing is lore one, try your best to kill it. Lore another, try your best to kill it. Lore this one, it's just like, oh come on. <laughs> yeah, it does. It like it 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 really kind of sucks and like like. Come on, we are, come on, guys! Throw me a fucking bone here. Seriously. All right, fine. Oh, God damn it, not that. Derby. 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 There we go. Fine. That's what you want to do. This is what you want. Oh, this. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. That would be so funny if he just like he lost <laughs> he lost all aggro. He was like, oh. like that was the thing. He started to like do like he like it was like he was starting to turn away and go back home. <laughs> go home. Well, I'm out of here. Fucker. Come on. I like that they uh, just jump into that. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I mean, in fairness to this section, it is very satisfying to kill a bunch of Yeah. Characters. Today I had to I had to build a very stressful IKEA thing, and so like I was sitting there like I was like you know what like I spent like this afternoon doing this act of creation <laughs> and construction, and, oh, you like, didn't do that. <laughs> and I'm just like looking for it. I'm just like I'm like I get to take shit apart tonight. It's gonna be so fucking good. IKEA stuff is stressful because it's like it's this it's this mix of the satisfaction you get from like building a model or something where like all the pieces are meant to stack up to a thing, but then the knowledge that it's just cheap enough that none of it's going to be perfect. You're going to have to force some stuff in. Yeah. The, th- this one in particular, it had, um, glass panels, just oh, bare glass panels. Rough. And it had, it came with, it was four of them. There's two in the back and two on each side. And then there's two big, massive glass doors right so it's a, it's a glass mm-hmm. cabinet that's going to be kind of an indoor greenhouse Wonderful. um yeah and uh the doors the glass is in them they're big sturdy doors you know just um but then the this the sides and back um are you have to build them yourself you have to kind of construct these doors Ugh. um you like you know you you That's build up you, you, there's there's like there's like four poles and you build the poles and then you put the glass you know you put the the lid you put the, the the base on and then the lid or the, then the, the 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 top of it and then you have to kind of angle the glass panels in. Yep, 
I've and been then there. push them yep. all the way back until they snap into place. And one, snapping is not what you want glass to ever fucking do. Well, and there's that there's that horrible feeling of like it sort of is grating a little bit too. So it's like, uh huh. Oh yeah, awful. It was Just the yeah, worst. It was it was rough. And like you have to make sure that it's aligned at the top. There's a, like a foam padding in the in the in the, the cap of this cabinet sure and it's just like okay i've got to keep it in the foam but then i have to make sure it gets over these little bumps in the bottom and it's just like it was fucking nerve-wracking yeah. that's horrible and it's just like you know it's like a, a saw blade but like gl- just a sheet of glass <laughs> it's just like this fucking sucks this is how this is how so I much um so i'm gonna jump down here there's a there yeah i don't that? know if you saw it but like when when i was over here there's this like horrific uh thing you can oh yes yes it's not it, I'm, I'm worried about it i don't like yeah it. i don't like it either like that's no good that it's got nope, too many no legs. one there's one of those things in um wasn't there one of those things also in um uh what's it called um uh, the, the poison place the poison place oh in blayton yeah, isn't there oh, one Blaytown like sort of... does have, Blaytown has weird things like that. Um, I don't think they're the it... same, but okay. Derby's putting the eye down. I'm putting the eye down in here just because. You know what? Maybe hey, someone wants to, to to tussle, but I want. I really don't like that guy. That's terrible. No, it's no good. Um, where's my binoculars? There's my binoculars. Like what? 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 Just no, and it's little. Ugh, it's got little look at all legs. Little, the little arms. Oh, they're horrible. The oh, arms, and it's got, but it's it's really funny because it's got those kind of little weird, like like little tusky things, and that little mouth full of little teeth. Look at those little those little razor sharp teeth. Ooh, and it's like a big like tumor on its head. Yeah, it's got like a like it. it that's so it, you know it can <sighs> it can smash through rock because it's clearly coming out of the. That's rock. That's what it's done. Yeah. And it's just either stuck there and like just too bloated to continue, or that's how it lives its life. But you know, there no aren't good. a lot of there aren't a lot of bugs in um, the world of Dark Souls. Now this is interesting. This one is upside down from the ones we just were looking at. Mm. The ones up intentional uh, point or mistake? Yeah, because like so these ones are upside oh, down. These ones are upside down. Uh, these ones are all upside down. But the ones up there had this, the, the the short like the you remember them because right. like those little those little bottom ones were were the other way. Don't and growing know. down is is a kind of a compelling sort of idea. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, but we're gonna get done there because I want to see what that's that there's that item. It might I, be something yeah, cool. I hope, I, I hope you can kill that thing. Maybe you I, should try a plunging attack on it. I don't know that I can because see, like, I how how else am I gonna get down there? Isn't it right in front of the item? Um, it's oh, a little yeah, bit ways it's, back. It's kinda, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much, yeah. So I could probably, one, I actually I don't know if I can make this jump. This might kill me. I don't think it will, but let's find out. Do you have any rings that'll, oh, yeah. Okay, okay no, that wasn't that bad. Oh, and all it was was the soul of a proud knight, and now, oh, Jesus. I don't like that thing. No. You should probably hit that thing with magic. I mean, I could do that. Or you could slash it. What if it? I just come to the side? I wonder what happens if I just come to... The oh, there's a bonfire. Oh. oh, that's right. It spits acid. Well, now you get a bonfire. Yeah, so. hey, that's actually really handy. And I don't have to deal with those fucking capras anymore. Yeah, that's why they included that worm. Yeah. Okay. Look there. Th look at that guy. Uh, oh, There's like Jesus. A, an ossified version. Well, that's a whole. So, what, what, is that is that what they're the really dragon? like? No, that's not or a dragon. Because see, look, it's all it's all fucked up. Yeah, it's super. Oh, jeez, I've that's never looked. No at that good. Thing. I hate Wait. that thing. Wow. Yeah. No, you're right. It's not. It's not that thing though. It's no, different. It, yeah, it is different. That's this looks like, looks like, like, a, like the electron micrographs, like you know, like when you. When they, I like, was just gonna say that. Yeah, it looks like a tardigrade or something like, like that. Yeah, or like a, like just like a colony of dust mites. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, someone someone like shows it to you and like this is what's in your eyebrows. Like I I feel like it those are always one of those things like I always wonder like if you showed that to someone like like or like, you know, like you just show like that to like, you know, to, to like to Miyazaki or like Junji Ito, like you showed Junji Ito like a picture of a dustmite and they just kind of go, that's why I'm this way. <laughs> you know, like I just I kind of wonder if that's the case with them. Absolutely. All right. No, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. Like I something something has like cause like especially right. Junji Ito, right? Like as as overplayed as as he as he can be in the in the horror community. Like Junji Ito is fascinating to me because of his um like utterly wholesome cat comics too. So like he has these <laughs> sort of like wholesome intentions, but also just the like some, something has made him the way he is. But hey Trevor, look, see this one? That one's the other way around. It's the other way around. Just really in case neat. anyone thought Dia was making it up. Look, yeah. there's that guy. And then there's this thing. Capture that guy. Uh, but look, there's another one floating back there. Yeah, and that's that's, that's an interesting thing. because like, So we've got a statue right there. But then there's clearly one that's just over there being that way. Can't be a problem, right? No, no big deal. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> is this one? This one's not a thing, is it? No, okay. Yeah, that one. I was like, that I was, like, I was pretty sure, but I just... Be you... wary of lying in it. Oh, well, that's that thing, not... <laughs> they did it. You, you did it, buddy. You got to the bonfire. Um, we actually need to rest this bonfire so that we will begin here again. Smart. And should we, we should kindle this one. Let's do it. Let's kindle that bonfire. I like Derby's small hands. <laughs> Small okay, so what's what's over here? We've got more shit going on. There's is this weird dude. You're gonna have to kill him. You're gonna have to kill him. Yeah. I like the the giant bulge there, which like <laughs> yeah, something's trying to come up. yeah, some, like that's a, some, something is trying to come up. Um, like is it like is it from the thing that's over here? Where did that guy Maybe. go? He's right there, yeah. I don't... Did oh, that guy. Sorry, I thought you were looking for our terrifying... Oh, there he is. He's... This dude. I hate these guys. They're, they're very easy if you're strong enough, and if you're not, they're such a pain. Yeah, I remember... They're on fire constantly. Like, that was the thing. Is like I remember the last time I, the last time I came through here, um, I was a sorcerer, and they sucked so much because, one, they follow you all the way, Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't lose them. Like, you, you can't shake them off. Boss. <laughs> Give me that soul. Um, um, oh, <laughs> shit. No! And yeah, they do that. But, like, even, like, even, like, when I was here, by the time I got, I did the Demon Ruins, I was, like, you know, just as beefcake as you really can get um, mm -hmm. <laughs> as a mage. And, like... They still just like you couldn't just use like the basic soul arrows on them because those didn't just do it just didn't do enough damage, and like you know you use like your soul lance on them and it would just take so much uh, of your your spell uses and then you yeah. were like out of uses and you were like well shit the fucking Vantian magic system has ruined me. <laughs> Derby's hatred of uh, sorcerers. <laughs> sorcerers. No, it's really funny because as far as magic systems go, I greatly prefer the Vancian system that... Um... Buddy, what? Cool. Forest demon. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you, you picked the wrong fight. Derby's part dragon now. Yeah, that was that was an easy one. For that me. was just it's just it's really funny that the the way challenge in Dark Souls alternates. Okay, oh. and there's another one of those guys just hanging up over there. Huh. Yeah. I guess he's a typical enemy. And then there's another one of those big boys. There's a couple more big boys over that way. Exciting. Yeah. Oh, that, again, this should be much more fun. It should be like you should be looking at like man, like there's so many options and they're they're also scary. It's like this is this is yeah. such like a and it never it doesn't feel beefy at all. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to do 
never gonna get one of these days I'll get the, the fucking buttons right. Nah. But no, I won't. For, it's for squares. <laughs> Got better stuff to do. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, those tongues. God. Kill that thing. Yeah. Don't appreciate those tongues. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. I think Derby's dead. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's like a... That's a, that's a full... That's just a kill. Oh, 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 he actually eats you. Yeah. Yeah, he completely consumes you. Which... Is interesting when you think about it because um, so like consumption, you're you're still okay. Like you know you're not gone forever. Um, if you are consumed, uh, your your body just rematerializes. Right, right. So what are they? What are what are they eating? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, Derby, you're, you're not get. You're dead oh. now, girl. That's okay. It happens. Yeah, it you know. Happens. Look, you'll get him next time. Yeah. So glad we don't have to fight that thing. It's, it's so funny just killing these in just one whack. Just whack. Boom. Where it's is, great. Like, where's another one? I think I did like a, maybe a dex build. And so the last time I played uh, this game, and so like, I had a lot of I had a fast sword that was like half as strong. Oh yeah. And so you'd have to hit them like two or three times. That could sometimes become a problem. And a lot of I the dex that... weapons don't really have quite the reach. Right. Yeah. I forget what I used. I I, I don't know. Unless you um, go like yeah. washing pole, but then washing pole has like. Yeah. Washing pole is really fun until it breaks. Yes. Yeah. I um, I liked um, I think I used katanas my last time through. I think I mm. found those to be very useful. Oh, I forgot these guys come back. They sure Such do. A dick. Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh. <laughs> that's what you thought of it. Okay, that's fair. Wow. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Don't break my shit. Oh god damn it. All right, heal up. I have to go back to the blacksmith now, don't I? You can repair it a bonfire, right? Can I? Oh, and now you drop the demon's nice. great axe. That's what I actually wanted, like a long time ago. There you go. But let's let's actually see it. I don't think it's it's, it's not, not going to be yet. It's not strong enough at this point, right? But I wonder what it takes to... to. I think it's probably twinkling titanite, right? So yeah, 114 plus 125. So it's not nearly as strong as this Y hand. But it does scale really well with your strength. It does. And it it looks like that. And it does so good. that. <laughs> okay. Um but we're not gonna use that now. We're gonna I wanna get my fucking souls back. I can't believe it broke my goddamn weapon. Is it fully broken? Yeah, it's fully broken. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's your... Bye. Back to See the if I can repair it at the bonfire. I don't remember you could pair fully broken weapons. For, I, for some reason, my brain's like, no, you have to go and see. I think you're right, actually. I mean, it's... I don't know. It feels like something that would happen in this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, no, it looks like I could I could do that. Okay. Um, while we're here, actually, let's got a bunch of these souls. Let's, let's... Oh yeah, you're gonna level up. I think I think I could at least get one level. Just because I, I think I can. Get a soul right here. Yep. Munch That's that. good enough for me. That should be good. Oh yeah, I got enough that level. Pretty sure. Yeah. Perfect. I actually didn't even need that last one, but that's okay. Um, oh, yeah, I was trying to get my endurance up to 30. 
So that's good. Is that the break point on endurance? Um, 40 is the, the like the big break point, but like okay. 30, I think is probably going to be good enough. Um, I'm getting to the point where like, I'm really, really like, um, really at the point with this build where like, I've got a few more points in strength than I actually needed for like a proper yeah. build. And I've got a few more like points. I don't like, I have just enough points in, um, faith for it to be like you know a strength faith build to the same time i like the strength faith build i've never really seen that in action before so. it's it's a good time like it was one of those things where like um when i first played demon souls uh i was a little underwhelmed by faith ex until i realized like the whole point behind that is more the notion that like uh that is like kind of like a build that's centered around um basically just constantly recovering whereas yeah. in dark souls it is much more are you fucking kidding me Asshole. <laughs> incredible dodge incredible dodge ahead. um <laughs> incredible dodge ahead. uh Whereas, whereas in Dark Souls, it is much more kind of uh, more Dungeons and Dragons ish with the the miracles. Yeah, you, you get some you get some magic basically. Yeah. All right. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah. This is, uh, there we go. Yeah, the end of the road Derby's, for you. He's done with this. Shit. You don't get style points. I mean, you do, but <laughs> dropped a green right. Titanite shard. I don't think I'm actually oh, using that for anything at this point, but that's yeah, fine. yeah, it's just like it's nice to get though. Ah, okay. you like to be recognized. Are you gonna go kill those other Taurus demons over there? Uh, well, it's funny because I got, so I got like there's there's Mr. Capper over there doing God knows what. There's like, this whole there wing there. down here, um, because I think that isn't that that's like that's just the boss room. I'm pretty I, sure. Like it's well, you know, if, if yeah, I think it is. Although, which boss is it? It's just um, it's uh. The fire sage or whatever. Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like. Don't back off. That's right. Cut your foot, and you died. That was very funny. Uh, damn, Derby, going through these these heels. Hey, why not, right? Yeah, you know. That's how you save your Estus flask. It's true, and I've got a lot of Estus flasks. <laughs> it's funny that like um, the I would say like the only the only boss in the end game that really sort of like feels like you need all the stuff that you're building for at this point is the last boss. Yeah. The other ones feel very, I don't know, like, almost like they're kind of just there to be there. Yeah. The, I suppose I'm really thinking of the Bed of Chaos here. Who... The, yeah, the, the Bed of Chaos is such a weird... I boss. wanna like it so bad, I never do. Yeah, no, it's 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 difficult. Um I don't remember what the deal is here. I know it's bad though, yeah, that's right, it's bad. Ambush ahead. Just enough to take this guy out. I think Nope. <laughs> so not okay. Oh, god damn it. Okay, maybe you'll live this time. No, I don't think so. I think he, I think it's, it just makes you... Oh, wait, no. Oh, wow. Okay, so it just takes half of your health. Fine, fuck it. I wanted to save these. Asshole. That is a that is one very difficult enemy. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Everything about it is just like brutal. And there's, let's see. Good luck. Uh. It's like Captain Picard said, there are three lights. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh God. Well, you can slash him from behind now. That's good. Can I? <laughs> well, oh, no, I don't know that for sure. You know what I've got, though? What's that? I got fucking items. I got items that we've been just sitting on. Oh, wait. I've got a... I've got a... <laughs> That's Hold true. Hold on. No, oh, he didn't like weird. that. It's an odd way to attack. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. That hey, not particularly shit. strong. Yeah, that's not great. It looks cool, though. It does look cool. And that's what really we are here for. That, yeah, that's mainly the thing that we're... Oh, there you go. I don't know the these. <laughs> really? Well, I Starting guess they are in the fire zone, so that makes sense. <laughs> I have never gone back this way. I think I did once, and then this happened, and I never went back here ever again. Because this is this is what's back here. Yeah, oh, it's something bad. I have is broken. It's, it's, your, it's your sword. Yeah, the sword seems like it's doing okay. I think it's my armor. Oh, sure. Maybe. Okay, so it only takes two. Oh, man. Look how many of them there are. Do you have any, uh... I don't know what to suggest. <laughs> well, I mean, I think the next option is I just have to... I just have to take out one, I guess. I could probably run past the other one. Yeah, probably. I wonder if these come back. They must. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. What? Are they just, like, super strong? What are oh, we at you know what I bet it is? I bet, I bet this is broken. I didn't even think so. Oh, you know, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Zero fifty. yeah. Okay. Well... Is that one A, but it's so crappy. Yeah. All right. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't have that in the lie of anything. I don't know. Or do I homeward bone it and try it, and try it again? Um, I wonder if I can just run past them. Maybe. You might also be able to kill them if you get up close. Yeah. Well, I mean, the problem is it, it's going to take me more than one hit to kill one. The yeah. other one's going to hit me with the... Uh... The acid. But you know what? Let's just... Let's, let's, let's be brave, Dervy. Oh. Oh, oh, no! Being brave, it turns out, was a mistake. They just go at you so fast. Yeah, they do. Now, what if you did, like, the one-handed non-power? The... That? No, that's not very good. No. Although it might get them a little better since it's like an arc, but I don't know. Well, it would get both of them, but the the power attack is where it's. No. Okay. Well, you okay. got. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. I can, I can attrition this. Because I just need the one. It's so gross. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
What's in the chest? I don't know. Is this? I bet it's really good. <laughs> I gotta kill this guy before I open the chest because it might be a mimic. Oh, that would be so bad. Nice. Yes. Fuck all those dudes. All right. That is. Uh, yeah, that's. Don't a lot. be a mimic. I don't think it is, but. I don't see a chain. Yeah. yeah okay. okay, it's not. That is the kind of thing this game would do, though. Yeah. A large flame oh. ember. I mean, that's a pretty good treasure. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that I... Don't, we, don't, I don't, don't you need to give that to someone to, so they can actually like make flame weapons? Yeah, or? large flame ember. Let's see, what does this say? Ember required for weapon ascension. Large flame ember used in ancient rites. Handled only by blacksmiths knowledgeable in ancient methods. Oh, okay. So it's it's for fire weapons, which fire weapons are always weird to me because it's like uh, in Dark Souls, cause it's like why why aren't you just doing chaos? <laughs> like, sorry, but do chaos. If you're gonna do fire, just just do chaos. Stack ten humanity. How? Wait, I don't know if I know what you mean. Um, so you. you Chaos is is scales off of your humanity. Uh, oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, and I think it's it's like I think it's only ten that you need. Mm. Are you gonna? Oh, you don't need to, I guess. There's no reason to. Like, I was gonna say, are you gonna go back to the bonfire? I was like wondering. I think I feel like you know I'm not human. Um, I only have eighteen thousand souls. I, I'm not. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need lightning spear for the boss. I don't think. I think. No. Like. Now, are you going to? I guess you're still have to explore these areas too. Yeah. But I don't think there's much here. I saw oh. a tweet today that was something like, um, "My boyfriend plays games that are like, do you want to search the beehive? <laughs> and if you do, you it says you found a bee." I, I like, love that, that is tweet. like a game I would play. <laughs> so, so good. That I was, was like, that is true. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> such a good tweet. I saw that. I feel like there's just this empty plane here where like six more of those yeah, dudes will pop up, but I don't. I don't love. I don't love this for you. <laughs> you shouldn't have waited, Capra. Yeah, that was Frank almost looked like the game. AI was like just kind of like stuck on what to do oh boy uh what do you do in this situation yeah like it looked like it looked like the ai was just kind of confused um no so i guess that's all right that's it yeah i've never done that whole thing that's cool Is that really all this? It's, i mean it's a little underwhelming but it's cool to see yeah and so we're here and like even like kind of like the textures here like it's interesting because the demons oh, seem really rudimentary and like like the demons seem very cow tools mm -hmm. but then they've got <laughs> this pretty ornate structure going on and i don't know what that's about cow tools is my favorite uh accounting software as it happens it's like, okay what's, oh so this is interesting so we've got like kind of a person like, yeah. figure Sort of, yeah. It kind of looks like that, um, that classic fertility goddess statue. Oh, yeah. You know the one, <laughs> the 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 Venus of wherever the fuck. I can't. Yes, yes, that's the one. Yeah, no, it's got this weird kind of just like very vestigial figure, um, of a human or a, I guess some kind of humanoid being, um, than it is being. Are those flames or are those tree roots? Or is there really much of a difference? And then there's this down here. Yeah. Which I always found fascinating and, keep, and always try to do and die like six times. Do I don't even know what the fuck. I don't, I honestly, I do not remember what the shit this whole deal is. You have to try and roll onto that, that ledge. And then there's the, the treasure at the end of it. Uh, now, whether or not it's doable, I can't remember. It's okay. certainly difficult. <laughs> Well, let's, let's give it the old college try. All right. Sounds good. There we go. Yeah. You got to do the jump. 
That's probably where I failed. I, I do the roll too often when I should be doing the jump. And What's this... exciting about this is you can just like keep walking down the hall and then at the bottom you'll I mean you'll know where you are again, but like this is the only way to get those things that are there that are just like, oh yeah, like how do I get those items that are so far up? What the even shit? Like I it's really funny because like I, I know I've done this. I've done this like every time. I just have like, I'm like, what? Oh wait, that's because that's the passage to Lost Idolith, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have to, we have to. That's right. That's that's right. I was like, what this, what this shit even is this thing down here? And like now, everyone's I favorite place, Lost Idolith. <laughs> Which is funny, because like, I think Lost Idolith is the coolest. Um, it's neat. I think the the enemies leave me flat in Lost Idolith, but I love how it looks. Although I guess like the dinosaur guys are cool. Yeah. So we'll we'll come back and we'll do this. Oh wait, can I not just? I, I guess I have to pop down there, don't I? I can't. Just uh, yeah, I can't just go back up there. It would be nice if you could. But you can homeward bone. That would be the only way you get out of here without dying. No, I can't. I won't die if I just pop down here. Pretty sure. Yeah, if you land, if you land on the. Uh, I land on that land tree. On the tree. Yeah. All right. Nope, not gonna happen. Oh, but hey. Whoa. All right. Derby's so strong. Derby, yeah, Derby's Derby's got it. First, that means Derby's got half health. And, um, oh, yeah, that's right, because there's, like, Bug Squad or whatever down there. Yeah, there's this, the, there's the people this... who, who beat up Sunbro. Yeah. Stole his, stole his brain. Do, 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 going up this little walkway. There we go. Oh, it only took one, and now I've got eight S's. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Eight S's might not be enough for the boss. <laughs> yeah. Gee. Hardest boss in the game. Um, This boss absolutely sucks as a, a mage. Um, I have never played it as a mage. I, uh, I've never played this far into the game by, like, nope, actually, like... do that, Derby. No, god this, damn it. This boss can be rough though. Yeah, yeah he can. Jesus. Cause he does that shit. Oh damn, I'm not doing a lot of damage to him either. Um got a very like create from uh from Super Metroid feel. That big belly. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, he's like he's like the advanced version of. God damn it! Stop doing that. Of those, uh, yeah, those little guys that fly at you. Uh, uh, well, he's the the asylum demon. Oh, so he is. You're right. Well, <laughs> well wow. <laughs> this is this is where it's gonna happen. It's like, oh yeah, the demon ruins. Like, there's nothing really to it, and then I'm just gonna be like, well, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna be sitting here, being like, so the demon ruins. No, I don't. Have I absolutely. I, you know what? I'm absolutely here for my friend, uh, the chubby uh, fire sage demon. Yeah, weapon broken. Weapon broken. Yeah, I know. Um. I'm looking for this. Actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use humanity. And... All right, and repair equipment. Jesus. Okay. Um, I'm just moderately curious if there's literally, if there's anyone around here to summon. Um, that would be nice. I think I don't know. Like, um, cause like I'm kind of bummed at like how uh, little summoning and invasioning uh, has been in this game. Let's play. I feel like that's like um 
like the the I don't know how to say this, like the amount of summoning and etc. Um were really higher in classic souls and it never really built up in remake. Like it just yeah. isn't a big part of this game. I suppose in part because there was that glitch early on where like, people were griefing and like ruining other people's accounts by like casting vampirism on them or some oh, some nonsense. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they had to like with that. ban a bunch of people's accounts and stuff. Very weird. Oh wait, did I not make myself? <laughs> I didn't make. I used the humanity and then failed to rest the bot. God damn it. Now you have that cool humanity there. The humanity in the hand is worth two in the bush. It's true, but I, it doesn't help me when I'm trying to see if there's anyone who's available to summon. Ah, uh, yes. Well, fair enough. Oh, more. Yeah, I, I, I ended up running, just running out of um, all of my... Uh, which I'm gonna call it uh, my my homeward bones, and I was just like, well, I could buy more, or I could just I could just equip this. I could use this, yeah. And uh, so that's what I did. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, let's just do it. Munch. Two birds, one stone. Let's keep going. Oh yeah. Okay, fine. Reverse hollow. Yes. Got any other spells I can do that are cool? Hmm. Heal, replenishment. Replenishment's kind of cool. Um, Wrath of Gods is a fun time. Oh, I should use great magic. Oh well, no! Oh yeah, using... that's a solid one. I don't remember if fire counts as magic, but or should I, I don't actually know because he, he does do it though he does do the one magic spell so yeah fuck it we're gonna use great magic very bitches now will you use heal in battle no it's too slow so you maybe want to i don't know if you want to sub something out for that if there's uh, anything you'd want to oh i got i got there's really i don't think there's really much that no. i would do like because i might use that oh, i got 15 essence class maybe i don't need like, what would you put in its place? Wrath of the Gods. Maybe. Wrath of the Gods is, 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 is not bad, but I don't think it's going to help so much in that situation. Um, mm. Probably replenishment, but. Because replenishment's just in over time, which oh. isn't. Like, it's. it's, it's casting it before bad. i walk in and like it'll keep me topped up in the event that like you know there's there's what like if you if you enchant your weapon do you think that would be helpful at all or yeah like i'm wondering if do i don't have i don't have the intelligence to use these <laughs> i just now, don't yeah <laughs> i don't i don't have um pyromancers are kind of sick uh, but eh. tranquil walk of peace. <laughs> Using tranquil walk of peace on the boss. I love that idea so much. <laughs> nah, I think I think I think we'll keep heal in that way. I'll just save my whatchamacallits. Um, unless. I don't think seek guidance. Finds. What does seek guidance even do? It makes more um, messages appear. Um, I oh, think fun. it might also make more uh, summon signs appear, but I'm not did entirely. You, did you? Oh yeah, you're on hollow. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Before we do all this again, <laughs> for no purpose. All right, asshole. Now it's your turn. Oh, 
Not the worst boss walk ever. Certainly nothing compared to what we did when we were fighting with God. Them. But uh, this is not a great one, especially if you don't have the, you know, the the level of uh, yeah. If if you can't like offensive power, yeah. If you can't like just end engagements very quickly, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. Damn, and there like is no one. No one no one wants to do the summoning thing. That's so mean. Yeah. Ugh. Derby is here and waiting for your help. Derbies are in your area looking for summons. And it's just like I don't like I don't like, you know. It's all the discourse around the game too, and like the whole uh I don't know the whole like it's uh oh yeah it's a uh, it's, it's a hardcore game that you have to like really beat uh in your own or whatever i feel like people don't summon as a result and it does kind of it's a part of the game that is <clears throat> yeah summoning rocks. no like it's it's really one of those things it's like it's weird because like i'm always kind of like very much like no the game the game really wants you to do this it puts an npc yeah. in the game specifically to be like yo buddy do it um, all right, green magic berry time. Yes. Let's traverse this fucking light. Go on, bitch. Okay, there it is. damage I crave. Yeah. But yeah, I forgot. Like, Great Magic Barrier really does. Well, I mean, that, that magic attack is such a pain. Yeah. It's like there's, there's no telegraph to it. Not really. Okay, Derby. Come on. Get back up. Oh, damn it. I lost my shit. You got this without it. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Done for. Victory achieved, bitches. Love that. Love it. The demon catalyst. There's my souls. Now let's back this way. Still. Oh look here. That's such a great like kind of Metroid sound. Well, well. So now here we are in in the ruins, the and in, in an actual ruin. It yeah, this is actually a ruin. This is not just uh, it feels ruined here. I just these dudes like it's just these guys make this le this part horrible. Again, if you aren't as strong as Derby, because like this yeah. So bad. So narrow. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's just a weird zone with just like, like just these guys, pretty much, you know. And like, what what even is what is this zone about? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell you. It's not entirely clear what the point of it is. That guy's living. 
That guy doesn't fool me. But he's not. He's not Tarkin Ball. He's like. <laughs> he's not. He's not interested in actually fighting. Yeah. It's like, look. Dad um, said I had to get join the army, but I am so not interested in hurting people. Like, are they all living? Yeah. Or at least they're all look moving. Yeah. And then there's this weird. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> like, it's just. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh. Damn it. Well, I'm sure it'll come back. Or you could just go down this way. <laughs> Mind that last step. Come back. There it is. Okay. Well, let's let's see what. Where are we gonna go? Where could we possibly go with this? I like the like, ah! the way it glows underneath. Oh, here we are in Quaylogs. Yeah, look at that. Great shortcut. Like it's not a bad shortcut. It's so a good we, one. Maybe come back here. We could say, say hi to our friend Ingi. Hi, Ingi. And uh, we could rest that bonfire, but if we rest that bonfire, <laughs> all these assholes... Someone's going to come back. Yeah, your friends, the dragon guys, are going to come back. And it's such a, like, it's one of those things that, like, I really, I do appreciate that. It, is, it makes you make a choice, right? Yeah, like, like it, 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 about... and like, like, it is, it, it is a choice. You have to make that choice. And, um, you know, just... Don't choose to make that choice ever. <laughs> no, it's this fucking room. Because, like, it's just annoying. Wait, weren't you down here already? Yeah, or? I was good, but there... Uh... Oh. That, that's, as far, that's the terminus for that section, I thought. But then there's, then there's this hole further back this way. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, there's, and there's down. Wait. Oh, and another door. Yeah, and another bonfire. Goes fast and furious, this area. Because this takes us, yeah, this is... I guess it's the other way down into... Probably rest at that bonfire, actually. Yeah, I... nice. yeah, that's that's up that way. Where we came from. And I then, would, I yeah, would let's just rest, rest there. Yeah. And let's level up. And there we go. Endurance. There we go. 30. The choice you're making now is never to never to go back home. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good choice. Um. Because why not? We've got so much of it. Yeah, now you're luckier. It's one of the funnier things about humanity is that if you're carrying a lot of them, you like your drop rate is higher. I think like ten like gives you like like ten is like the the kind of maximum bonus for it, where it's like it, it yeah. caps. But like, yeah, it's um, good. Like it's not bad. Like it's no, because like ten is significant. Yeah. Um... Does this actually give us a new warp dance? Uh, no, this, well, I guess we wouldn't know from here because it's not going to show. Right. <laughs> I can I, remember if it's one of those things where it also shows you the one you're currently at or not. Um, just because it's always better to do it than not. All right. So onward. You know, it's funny, Trav, because I was like, oh, you know, uh, Demon Ruins. And I was like, for some reason in my head, Demon Ruins is so much longer and more involved. Um, it's Yeah, it's, it's, it's way shorter than expected. I think, like, in part, that's just because it ties so quickly into the other stuff, right? Like, it's so immediately like, okay, we're, oh, well, okay, I can summon you now, huh? 
Was there another boss back here? Is this just Bed of Chaos? Ooh, if it is, we should do it. Let's do it. Let's let's summon our buddy Solaire though, too. Why not? It's always fun to bring an, a, a, a friend like Solaire. Yay! Hey, Solaire. Praise the sun. Solaire, are you trapped behind that root? Where, where are you? Where are you going, my guy? Okay, I just gotta go. make a listen. It's a, it's a, it's a path. It's true. This can't be better chaos, right? No. Thanks. So. No. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. this one. Yeah, I always forget about. This. I forget about this one too, um, because it sucks. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, look at yeah. that thing. Yeah, it's that guy. That was that thing. Remember? Yeah. Ugh. It's so funny we didn't even like put that no. together. No. <laughs> then uh, a whole time being like, "What's that thing?" Everyone's yelling at us. Right? Just... No, people watching this have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the number of people I know that are watching this let's play instead of playing Dark Souls themselves. Um, it's nice. It's, it's it's good to do that. Like, Solaire, go to tank that motherfucker, Solaire. Solaire's just gonna like, just yeah. gonna pace. Think yeah. about this a little bit. Yeah, I forgot. It's the, it's the centipede demon. Good name for it. Yeah, but also, I hate it. Oh, yeah, it's a terrible boss. <laughs> I, I wish it was better. Um, like, the whole idea, it's just the worst version of the Hydra. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. This oh, is no. fun and fine. Everyone loves oh. that. Everyone loves being eaten by a body. When a body eats a body going through the ride. Prolair's almost done. He's done nothing. Oh, he's not almost done. He is done. Yes. Make it regret coming on land. Oh, shit. Derby. <laughs> get off the phone. How'd you get that without killing the. Why'd you get the orange charred ring? I don't know. Why won't it go away? <laughs> No, oh, Derby, no, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Derby, no. <laughs> Alright, read the orange uh, shard ring. I gotta know what that thing is. Yeah. And why you have it. Oh, that may be so that's, that's close. That's a very that's a very funny loss. That was fairness. so funny. That that was that was an incredible um disaster. Reduces lava damage. An orange ring, enchanted by a witch, reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But fool that he is, he readily dropped it. And from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. So you have to just wander in there and, like, happen upon it? I think, yeah. That's you... cool. Um, but we should probably actually just equip that for this fight. <laughs> I, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> um, there we go. You know what? We're going to bring Solaire back, our buddy Solaire. I mean, I was going to say, also bring Solaire back. I feel like... Yeah.
I wonder if it reduces lava damage enough to make it worthwhile just running out there. Um, I would think so. Yeah. I mean, it, oh, maybe. If nothing else, it's worth trying. If nothing else, it'll make for good content. It's true. Um, I mean, let's be honest, right? Yay! Yay, Yay there he is! My favorite thing is to praise the sun is really just that good morning stretch. <laughs> it's just I love Solaire. it. It's so Solaire good. 35 plus. It's doing that morning stretch. Um, oh, the morning stretch is so good. It's true. You know what? Let's, let's, I don't think it, go oh, wrong thing, Derby. Just might as well, you know? Yeah, I, honestly, I mean, I guess most of what this guy does is physical, but let's see. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, Solaire probably should be reconsidering this. Oh no, doesn't seem to bother him. Cool. Oh, don't forget to heal. Oh, you didn't need to. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it was really funny. I was like watching how much damage that was doing and just like, cracking up. Hey, Solaire. Bye, Solaire. Oh, you should go get your souls. I They're should. over there in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Is there anything else in this room? Let's find out. So yeah, so this is ceaseless discharge. He he was given that ring from because by his sisters who were the witches of the daughters of the witch of Isleth. Correct. Um, which makes him the son of the witch of Isleth. Uh, which is one of those kind of neat things, because, like, um, one, it gives us a sense of time again, uh, mm -hmm. where, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> the witches, you know, they don't, he doesn't get mentioned at the beginning of the game, or, you know, when we when we first get the opening crawl, like, with the... Oh, no, I mean, he's, like, he's a big afterthought. Yeah, like, he doesn't show up there, and so it's kind of like, well, so I guess he comes later? Uh what? Huh. Odd. That feels like it should open. Um. Isn't that the shortcut? Try it again. No, it's it's um. I think it's the the covenant shortcut, maybe. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. Um. Man, that orange ring. That makes. Oh, that makes this whole area so much better. Yeah. Like being able to run through the lava like that. Whew. I really like I'm I'm honestly like really impressed that they would just throw that ring cuz it's so useful too. Like I'm really impressed that they would just throw it there and be like, "Hey, if you stumble upon it, that's great. This is how it got here. So you're going to have to <laughs> you're going to have to find it the same way." Mhm. Mm I also like how it implies that the um, that ceaseless discharge and his, um, his ceaseless discharge was basically like a slapstick uh, comic, uh, just like basically comic relief guy, and just like, well, thanks for the ring, it really helps solve my source. But whoa, <laughs> just dropping it in the lava. The sister seemed like, oh, ceaseless discharge. Well, it's just it's so funny because it's like, you know, um. So the the witch's daughter, like the, the, the daughters, like that, their misfortunes happened after, you know, the chaos flame and happened like that. So he, he was had the lava source from birth, which means he was birthed yep. after, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, again, like that's that's a weird, interesting thing that like Dark Souls likes to do with as far as time goes and, and kind of the, the improbability of... 
uh, like its conceptions of how time works and how stories fit together and things like that. But also like, yeah. Um, he's this like abomination from birth, but the sisters still love and care about him enough to, you know, weave their magic um, into a ring to ease his burden. Um, he's Solaire. Air. Bye, Solaire. Air. <laughs> I, yeah, I like that. I like too that like there's a, there's a kindness in, in this world that, I mean, just like absolutely we never see, um, like we absolutely never see in like most of the people in the world. Like there's not a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, like I really would like to, um, really would like to like, show people kindness i care about these people in in, in lordran like eh, that doesn't typically happen and, and to see like a, a a sister care for her brother that much is like the only other place you really see it is with like sigmire right yeah and, uh, and his sister or his uh, daughter rather and we do get some we get like you know some there's, there's some more to the sisters um Sadly, like, I don't think I ever got um, Quilana to show up and, like, ask you to kill her sisters. <laughs> uh, that's super interesting. I like that bit. Yeah, a lot. That's, that's an arc that, like, um, but I think I went to Blight Town and did it too quickly before I got anything. Oh, heading back to the Demon Ruins, are we? Well, we're, 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 we do this now, don't we? I think that's what. Sure. I think that's I my. I say we do it. I think that's the next the next step of the path i thought you were just like i thought you just had not gotten enough of those um worm guys you know like i'm really happy that we saw i mean even though we sort of made fool ourselves um in some ways i'm very happy we saw the um the centipede demon before because I, I that I just, i've never seen that yeah it's like really cool They're not attacking you. Lock I don't remember how to open the fucking door. Uh, killed the demon sage. You killed the thing. Uh, what else? Is there some other way through out of the centipede room? I don't think so. I don't remember. These guys want to show up over here. Come on. Do you want to come through or can you not come through? They can't come through. It's very funny. <laughs> well, that's what happens. All right. This so... whole area is so confounding. And I feel like with just like a little extra, it would have been like confounding in such a cool way. <laughs> I think that's what bugs yeah. me about it. No, like you're you're not you're not wrong there. Okay, well let's go check the centipede room again, I guess. Because that's so neat in so many ways. I like Derby's uh skip skip hop there. <laughs> yeah. Is there any wings back there? Maybe. Liar ahead. Liar ahead, indeed. My favorite thing about Liar ahead as a uh, as a warning is you almost never can actually figure out what they mean by Liar ahead. Uh -huh. Like, it doesn't lie because it gave you a sense of that you could get through here. Is it a liar because it's fake and you have to hit it? It's, it's really good. It's 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 the perfect mix of this is too vague. Try right. I'm in tears. All right. Maybe we could see people struggling. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. No, there's nothing. Mm, no. I guess if you want the green Titanite, you try, right? Yeah. 
Uh, can't get up there. Flies. I like the lava sound effect a lot. It's like a very interesting choice because it's not what, you know, we typically think of the sound lava making. No. <laughs> the... Yeah, we also don't typically think of people being constantly set on fire. Yeah. While walking through Oh, wait, lava there's a little the passageway. That's right. Unless that, is that the start yeah. again? Is it? No. no. No, it's not. There are two passageways yeah. here, so that's not the start. Anything back there? Well, now we can check. Okay. So Answer's yeah. going to surprise you. It's okay. We're just running around on fire right now. That's that's really what this is all about. That's right. There we go. This is this is where we, we want to be. That, that hint was bad. We should have tried left. Yeah, right? Oh, no. First guy to your left. That's right. Here we go. Oh, wait. No, that's not a cursed guy. No. Why? It's a lair. Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh. Why? Guy. Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Yeah, buddy. So that's, yeah, Solera, he's not doing so great. Do we, uh, are you on the path to sort of get his in? I don't remember what I have to do for that. Um, yeah. Like, because there's, there, there's, like, specific things you have to do. Um, I don't remember what uh, is still necessary for that. Um, I think it's, like, around here is where you actually have to, like make something happen. I don't remember what the deal is. But... Um. See, like, I, I've only ever gotten to the part where he gets, like, you can find him in that room before this, where we were before, where it was like, you can unlock it, where he is, like, completely absorbed by those bugs. Right, he is, he is... Get that. This is kind of an interesting section right here, just because it, in, in some ways it it reminds me a lot of like the way Ashley kind of works with it's like that long kind of just meandering nothingness. Yeah. Um, but then we get to this fucking room. There's if this is so much cooler now that you can walk in the I, I can't remember if I ever got that ring, but like this is so much cooler now that you can walk in the lava. Like there's so much more to yeah. it now. And then here we are. We're in Lost Isolith. Lost Isolith. Lost Isolith. Where? I love its towers. Yeah. Um, it has such a, it has such sort of like a, uh, an, a, I don't know, like Tibetan sort of feel to it. Well, it's like, it's what? It's Angkor Wat. It's, <laughs> it is Angkor Wat. That's why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> like, it's one of those, it's, it's one of the ones where it's really funny because it's just like, it has such a one-to-one -to, -one to like the real world where it's like, yeah. you guys... <laughs> Um, Guy who's only ever modeled a temple after Anger Watt. I'm getting a lot of Anger Watt vibes from this model, I think. But, like, it's really, it's it's cool because it's so unexpected down here. Like, you're, like, yes. kind of, what, it, what, what could possibly, you know, you, you know, what, like, we're going through the demon ruins and you come across this and it's like, oh, no, this isn't the demon ruins anymore. This is Lost Isolith. This is where the Witch of Isolith is from. We we assume. Yeah. I love the dinosaurs. The fucking yeah, the the the, the weird ass dinosaurs. Like what? And it's one I of those things the... where okay. Like, so this is this is the outside, like this is the inside of the dome, like that was outside. It as my was always my assumption. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah. I buy it's that. Like when you see when you see like uh, along the edge over there and stuff like that. Um, I think what's like what's surprising about this area is like video games typically when they take their especially like fantasy or high fantasy games when they take their inspirations they might take it from like Japanese or Chinese culture or like high European like I don't know like uh, cathedrals or whatever 
Um, but you rarely see something like Angkor Wat, right? Like, it, it's not something that's typically put in there. And, like, this is just, like, dropped in as if it's the most natural thing in the world. Like, it really really does give this area, like, a, a wonderful feel. Right, and, like, we've, you know, like, the other places that we have been to in um, Dark Souls so far have been, you know, European in origin. Yes, like, absolutely. Um, and like kind of the, you know, and like even those of those have been when, where they've been European, they've been kind of usually we're, we're used to seeing kind of like, you know, the Renaissance, like, you know, the, the early modern, not, you know, um, necessarily like, you know, kind of the early Middle Ages and like, yeah, you know, so it's, it's interesting when that kind of that structure happens anyway, but then like you get this and it's so completely foreign compared to what everything, what, what Gwyn has been building, you know? Yeah. It has that, it has that feeling of like, and, and I mean, this is, this is so sort of, um, that's a mimic, right? No, no, not. I was wrong. It has that. Um, it does have that like sort of, you know, there's, there's a bit of a, of a, um, orientalizing to this too where like people will say like oh you know like the er like the beginning of the beginning of the beginning was was something like like this but it is sort of powerful in this particular game where you sort of look at it and you can be like yeah the stuff up top is like pretty in its own way and sort of interesting but then like at the base of it all right is this other stuff that is so different like it, it's just like it couldn't be more like opposed or if not opposed then like differently constructed than what Gwyn's up to and like I just I love that I love that it's sort of like um, they they kind of like delved into a totally different architecture to depict that yeah <laughs> guy totally sacrificed his friend these dinosaurs are so hard I know Well, the one just died for no reason. Which is a little well, he surprising. got hit by the tail swipe. Oh, I see. Yeah. Do they ever have any drops? Is that a thing? Do they? I don't actually I don't remember. That up. I'm kind of interested. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Ah, uh, well. Uh, just so you know, they are called the. Bounding demon of Lost Isolate. They are not called the dinosaurs, as, uh, I, as Google has so helpfully told me. Um, let's see. Do they have any drops? They have no drops. Oh. Well then. What a shame. Yeah, there's a shame. There's that a... would be a truly, that would be like an absolute um, farm right there. God. Like it, just, it just dropped something extremely important. <laughs> it just like... I mean, well, that would be like kind of like every other game that like, you know. Yeah. This is like, you know, go farm those guys. It's like, um. Uh, the island in Final Fantasy VIII with the like the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> just and like you just go there and like they've got like nothing but like high level like all the high level spells on them that you can just draw forever. It's pretty good. Like I think that and God, I forgot about that stupid island. Um, you know, I gave up on that game when um, I got pretty far. I think it was in, like disc three or whatever. But like. It was like the most irritating thing was the um, what was the witch's name? The sort of like final boss. Um, not not Kistis. Kistis was in your party. Yeah, not. I don't remember, but yeah, I can't. <laughs> it's not important. Not Arlene's, unless you remember, yeah. in which case it's very important. Um, oh, thank you. But I remember she like she had a little island that was flying around and you had to go through the world to try and find it and I could never find it and I was like you know what I'm done <laughs> this game is dead to me Ultimisha yes there you go I wasn't even close but that's exactly right my brain was like my brain kept saying Artemisia and I'm like it's not Artemisia Jesus Christ and it's like yeah Ultimisha 
I think it's very funny that uh, Fran is in Final Fantasy XIII because um, the one thing that I remember about Fran is that my dad, um, when he saw I was playing Final Fantasy XI, uh, was like, who's that lady? She's hot. <laughs> I was like, that's Fran. Like, I'm pretty sure you could find a lot of people who have drawn a lot of images of Fran. It's like, really? Wow, the internet's incredible. Well, my dad yeah, ever incredible. Before. Yeah, he he was. I mean, it was it was a real dad moment because it's like it's sort of like you know, it looks a lot like what hot cartoon characters would have looked like in in his day, and that like you know, Robert Crumb or like Hard Crumb or yeah, know, Chuck Chuck Jones would be drawing them or whatever. <laughs> They'd be rabbits. <laughs> That's how you had to do it. Divine blessing. That's a weird place. I don't just... know what that is. Divine Blessing, it's, um, we'll, we'll read it in a second once I get out of the fire. Um, yeah, it seems, seems wise. It's, it's an interesting item because it speaks, uh, kind of, you know, to, uh, the, the, the kind of cosmology of Dark Souls, as, as all things do. Um, <laughs> Not just in the game, either. No, no. Uh, yeah, the, the goddess oh, of Sunlight right. Guinevere, daughter of the great lord of Sunlight Gwyn, is cherished by all as a symbol of bounty and fertility, and it's holy water from Guinevere. Um, what does that mean from her? Look. I mean, I'm not trying I'm not trying to be gross. I, like, I honestly... No, like, well, I mean, it is the question there. It's just like, okay, like, how did how did this come to get bottled? Like, who is... Who is did she know? just bless it? Is it some sort of, like... Again, not to be gross, is it some sort of like secretion? Like, what yeah. is? What are we looking at here? Is it I the mean, fluid the, of Gwen of Souls, the body? But... We don't know. Yeah, it's Dark Souls, so like the 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 game does encourage you to kind of come up with those conceptions where you're like, I don't know, a lot of things secrete a lot of stuff here. We have a boss named Ceaseless Discharge. That we do. If the climb up on that, yeah, 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 through that tunnel there, right? Oh, this the this the stuff. Yeah. I always just think of it as a tunnel. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's interesting that, like, it is communicating to you go through the tunnel when it's not, it, like, it isn't a tunnel. It used to be an archway of some kind until all <laughs> yeah. this, this happened. And then, like, and, like, there's, there is all this. This is all a thing that has happened to this place. And, like, you know, what the shit does, what the shit is all of this growth as we have previously discussed growth is a big deal in dark souls but it's also i mean this is the place where you get the growth that is also clearly falling apart right yeah like it, it's it's all gray it's it's some of them you can chop through as as you've been trying to do some of them will die like it's it's fascinating that the growth here is also it's, it's like everywhere but also kind of falling apart yeah some things are alive can't tell the difference they're disguising themselves it's, it's very interesting and it's interesting because like the things that aren't like alive anymore are like calcified you know like there's right. there's like there's that guy who clearly isn't like a sculpture he's just dead and turned to stone um right same with the same with the tree roots it's it, nothing nothing like it's not rot yeah i guess you maybe that's like and you know it's the one place people are most uncomfortable with because people are uncomfortable with rot but like um like that's blight town right like that's right like i was just i was thinking like it's, it's, you know it's, it's the difference between uh like rotting and petrified i mean this is yeah. basically like what a petrified forest of sorts <laughs> with a bunch of <laughs> but but it's, it's a petrified forest that is also at the same point like if it's just a forest right where like it would be the it would be sort of like the the if it were ever possible to have like a, a dichotomy of like the living and the dead just living together right mm -hmm. like, without any sort of distinction between them um and for that i mean you you have to have something like petrifaction um as opposed to putrefaction because putrefaction distinguishes itself <laughs> And like these things are weird because they exist in the demon ruins. They exist in Lost Isolith. You know, Isolith is lost because of the Chaos Flame, um, which 
I feel like being part dragon should, you know. Yeah, honestly. I thought we were kidding about these guys being annoying. It's just like there's so many of them. And it's just like one of those things where like I don't know. Are these Are these demons? Like, you know, these are these are demon demon citizens. Or were these citizens of Isolith that have become corrupted by chaos? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you thought you know, the new Final Fantasy Stranger of Paradise uh, was obsessed with saying chaos. Wait until we get even further in Lost Isla. <laughs> because, baby, yeah. this is all about chaos. I like I like the idea of that because it sort of, it, it again, sort of draws a distinction between Gwyn and the, um, well, those things are so funny. Um, Gwyn and the uh, the Witch of Isolith, where like um, you get a hollow when you're you go hollow when you're above, and then when you're below, you turn like monstrous. Sorry. This thing is so good, and I it has no it makes no sense. Yeah, we gotta it. we gotta stop talking for since we could hear its fucking footsteps. Okay, let's be able to stop. Cause it's great. Like, what? It's so horrible. I love it it's so the much. best thing. And it's this little do 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 like what? It is so like this is like one of the most alien things in Dark Souls, and it's just like it's so alien. It 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 like I know we've like we've done a lot of theory crafting about like oh like What's this whole thing? Like, why why are these things here? What are they for? I there's nothing I can come up with there. I have no idea. Yeah. What's that thing? Why is that thing there? Couldn't tell you. No clue. No, I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't know that I've ever actually looked it up because one, I never really remember it <laughs> until it happens. Yeah. No, it's it's always surprising. That's but um, yeah, like it's it's always it's like. What? Um, but I don't think I've ever looked it up um, to know what it even is. And there's like part of me that's like, do I even want to do that anymore? Or do I, I just want to? What... I can tell you what the wiki says if you'd like. Like that's the thing is, you know I am, I am, I am. You know what? Let's let's rip the bandaid off. What what is what the fuck is it, Trevor? Okay. Uh... <laughs> per the okay, wiki. So it okay, so the one thing that's not going to surprise you, uh, it. People have noticed a resemblance between it and something from Berserk. Not surprising, given it's Miyazaki. Yeah. Um, they are uh, called Chaos Eaters. Um, and all we get out of it is um, they vaguely resemble the transcended Kushan Emperor from Berserk. They and do. That's it. Um, I can. I can. Yeah, I, I remember Berserk enough to say, yeah, that is that's true. I um. I think it's cool that they're called Chaos Eaters. That's why I wanted to read that to you when I saw it. It's, That's, uh, yeah. Which which explains why they seem like they should be here in some ways. Like, they, they aren't really part of Isolith, but Isolith now is corrupted by Chaos. So. And they are here to eat. Yeah, they're going to That's they're why they're so big. <laughs> they're huge. They got a big old mouth on their head, too. Which, yeah. if you're going to have it somewhere... I've always found having a mouth on my head is great, but I've never had one on the top of my head. So but, but yeah, they have such a huge mouth on the top of their head too. Which the more big, mileage may vary. Big old funnel mouth. Um, yeah. How do I, can I get? I can't. I don't think I can get there from here. I don't remember. I think I have to jump down from over there. But. Don't it's so think. funny that like Lost Isolith is basically a jumping puzzle in Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. It's weird the roots that you can break. Yeah. But they are like, you know, they're shoots. They're like, they're just kind of like, they're little runners. They're not. Right. There's none of the roots that are like huge that you can break, except when like you have to. Like yeah. I think in bed of chaos or, or whatever but like the little ones you can <laughs> I 
<laughs> the chosen undead stymied by some tree roots. <laughs> ah, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, Frampt. <laughs> We're not gonna be not gonna be getting that Lord vessel anywhere I, anytime soon. I think like you know one of the things that like the the there is like the there's the the limited like number of enemy types, of course, and like there's you know those kinds of issues with with this zone, but like. Um, we already went this way, didn't we? Yeah. I think you want to go to the... Oh, there, that guy came to life behind you, I think. Someone did. Someone, someone's alive. You can hear them making weird little Metroid sounds. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's Take this here's some go good over. shit. Here's some good shit that's coming up. Um, let's, let's do this. Come I'm on. real excited. Um, had we been following along the quest line, it would make more sense. Or not really, but... <laughs> oh, Pyromancer. Yeah. This is one of the... This is one of the daughters. Oh, is that? Oh, and here's where Kirk is. Oh, the daughter... Yeah, 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 okay. Because there is a Pyromancy daughter, too. Oh, Jesus, Kirk. Kirk's not messing around this time. But neither is Derby. No, Derby. There we go. Retrieve remaining power of dark spirit. Yeah, we want to do it. Remaining power. And so that endeth Kirk, Knight of Thorns, who. Um, Pretty spoilers, neat NPC. He comes back. <gasps> not oh, not in this game. Don't forget that. And so we get the Eyes of uh, Catalyst, and there's another another one of those uh, Chaos Eaters. But let's check out the Eyes Lift Catalyst. Because um, that will tell us some things. Catalyst of the Witch of Eyes Lift of long ago, when her daughters were still flame witches, before they were engulfed by the Chaos Flame, before the birth of Pyromancy, their wands were mediums for sorcery. But knowledge of this flame sorcery has long since vanished. It's really interesting. Um, so that's interesting. We just read this. Uh, the demon catalyst formed from Isolith molten rock can be used as fire weapon. The demon fire sage was the first demon and the last master of the original fire arts before the hmm. witch of Isolith was engulfed by chaos, creating pyromancy. Um, so that's really interesting. So the, the demon fire sage is essentially like a, kind of like a uh, um, student of the like that's 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 the interesting thing it's he you know the, so the witch practiced sorcery um but it was fire sorcery and so like that puts it in opposition to see who you know practiced sorcery sorcery as we look at it like no like what, what whatever th yeah. that really means is uh he did blue shit the Witch of Isleth did orange shit. Um. <laughs> I do like, though, that it, that it makes it clear, like, no, no, no. If you're thinking about pyromancy, like, that's not the same thing. Like, this is not the pyromancy stuff. This is not that guy you saw. It's not swamp stuff. This is different. And I think that's that's one of the things that's, that's particularly interesting about the way. Um... Well, that's a that's a bonfire in there, isn't it? Is it? I think in in that in no no in the, in that uh, structure up there I think oh. this was a false wall by the chaos eater. Okay, I can remember. Yeah, but I but think, go ahead. What did you find interesting? Um, about? Is that you know when we talk about like pyromancy, this this uh, it ends up being um, you know it's from it's from within you. It's, it's this this weird art of like loving yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know like it, it, it has this weird touchy feely quality to it like you know you get very you meet the wood hippie yeah um and chaos with you. fire whip chaos oh. fire whip um, but that's not what's going and but like as a result like we just saw it there it pyromancy is about chaos pyromancy is not about right but like order it, you know we have this this thing where Nope, there's huh. no, no bonfire there. Weird. I thought that was a bonfire. 
Because there's a bonfire fairly close to this boss door, as I recall. I thought so too, yeah. The run isn't so bad. Maybe it's down there. Possible. Um, cause it's not in here. It's not. It's not back down this way, is it? Cause this is the way we first came in, I think. Pretty steep steps for poor Derby. It's a lot of armor to lug up those steps. Yeah, this is where we first came in. Um, this armor is a good balance between, you know, uh, defense and weight and um, style. Uh, and style, yeah, it's a good, it's a good look. Um, oh, it's well, maybe it's ass. down here. I don't think you've been down here. Yeah, we haven't been down here because it's all these out. Look at all those guys. Yeah. Oh, derby, you missed. Good job, Derbs. Um, Derby. Great work. But like, yeah, so like Pyromancy, it comes from the Chaos Flame. It comes from the, you know, the this the, the flame overtaking the Witch of Isola. Mm -hmm. Um Which is weird because it makes it seem like, you know, it is kind of in part born of her knowledge of fire sorcery. Right, 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 right. So yeah, it, like like everything in the world of Dark Souls that is a uh... It's a, a mutation or a, a vulgarist. I don't know what how to say it. Like it is a, it's a blasphemy almost. I I don't know. Like I can't think of a good non dramatic way to say it. But it it, it resembles right. Like it resembles. The thing. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I do know what's down here though. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear it. Oh, there you are, buddy. Oh, I do remember this. But yeah, it's a it's a a bastardization or like a profan profanation. That's what I was thinking of. It's, yeah. it's a profane version of of like the skill that she had. Um, Which is interesting because like if I remember correctly, the chaos flame itself is a creation of her own design. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh. She was attempting to create an alternative to uh, the flame, uh, the first flame. Um, oh, oh, oh well, that's there right. There's this whole thing. Well, um, got Albert Friend, right? I'm trying to remember. There's a, there's a way, to, there's a way to do it so that like, um, it doesn't end badly for him. Yeah, right. I don't entirely remember how that works out. I mean, you should probably talk to him first, right? Well, no, because if I talk to him, I'm pretty sure he jumps down there, and um, we don't want him to die. Would you like me to look? No, let's just. We've we'll, gone you know this far with him. Derby's just gonna do it, and we're gonna find out how it goes. And Derby's gonna do it. That is kind of a Derby move to see a friend in need and be like, you know what? Well, I don't. I don't know. Like, I have to like. You have to kill him, and he has to survive. Is the thing. Um, I do. I do. I do need because I can see it's wet down there. I need to put on. Oh yeah. Uh, the rest of the iron ring. I bet you could. If you drop down on them, I bet you could kill them pretty quick. Yeah, I, but I think I need to do it. I need to talk to him about it, and then I need to just jump down there and kill him very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so let's. You can't kill them before you talk to them. I don't. I think I. I think. Oh, you can't get back up, probably. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I think it's it's, it's okay. one of those kind of daily boppers. Um, but let's. Ooh. So I might bite on the sword first. Excuse must be the wolf. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You know, I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has ah. come. Ah. Ooh, gold guy. I 
think I need to talk to him a little bit more. I can't remember. <laughs> it really seemed like he was about to yeah. jump on down there. Bet I know what would have happened if you touched that blood stain. You'd see someone run right down there. <laughs> yeah, that's. It seems likely. See, this is where like replenishment comes in handy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you using any of that red titanite? <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's the chaos titanite. Um, if I remember, guys, okay, so it's not unhelpful. Yeah, I mean, I guess Derby could could conceivably, you know, use that chaos ember and, and transform her. Do I? Is there? Is I just have to homeward bone out of here? Oh no, here's steps. I was like. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have to. Oh, there's your. Uh, yeah. There's the thing you were trying to get to at the beginning. There's our friend. He's over here. Hey, buddy. Ah. Oh, there you are. Wait. Did you defeat those dire creatures? A oh, dandy. You never fail to impress. Well, one of them. This knight of Catalina. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Mm. I feel like I'm always thanking you. I curse my own ability. Oh, I feel like I'm always thanking you. I curse my own ability. It's okay, buddy. Derby wants to help you out. <laughs> also, I mean, also it's the chosen undead. Like yeah, how this, you know how this goes. It's, it's how it works when you're when you're the chosen undead. You just you just do stuff. Um, okay, so okay. I don't think jumping down again is the right thing because there's no other way out, right? There's on the other side, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just, um, just remember how to get back there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I had no idea. Now is your speckled stone plate ring is that is that good? I can't even remember what it does. I suppose we should read about it. Slight boost for magic fire and lightning defense. Okay. What oh, is there any lore to it or Oh, um let me get out of the, the poison. Oh yeah, 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 please, yeah. So I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I was just like, mm, I was like uh, probably. I'm just gonna The stone I'm gonna plate die rings if I... The stone plate rings all have like a weird story behind them. Um mm -hmm. I mean, they're cool looking, so I get it. It's always weird when you go to some place in Dark Souls, and it's like, no, there is still more down somewhere. <laughs> you know, like, do I have any of those little those little purple sheds? Yeah. There we go. I love to reduce my poison buildup. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good to do that. Okay, let's see. Speckles to me. Stone plates, the symbol of a true knight, grant the strength to face various hardships. The precious, rare, speckled stone plate grants a small boost to defense against magic, flame, and lightning. Mm. Uh, so there. This is fire and defense against flame, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a bunch of the stone plate rings. Um, mm. There's the, the number of stone plates and the number of bite rings, and they all do different mm -hmm. stuff. Um, that's not the one we want to take up, is it? No. Now, how do I get back out of here? It's a real question. Is there no way back out of here? Um, is it just a homeward bone? I don't like that. No. Well, what about this? Nope. Well, not, not, what if you follow it the other way? Because we jumped off when we saw oh, our yeah, friend. Oh, yeah, that's right, when we saw our friend. My friend. Oh, Don't. well. That didn't help much, did no, it? No, it didn't. Um, is there some other door over here? 
I feel like we're missing something simple. Right? What's that? Is that no That's the hallway that takes us to uh... No, I know. I thought I saw something like a like an indentation in the oh. far end of it. Yeah, like right there. Is that a your turn, turn. See how it sort of looks like it's a doorway? Yeah, that's that's, that's the hallway that um it was the there's a chest down it. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, I think you might be in homeward bone territory. Oh, right. That's over here. Um yeah. Or is this just yeah, no, this is new. This is new. Is it? <laughs> well, new ish. <laughs> it's always the question we have to ask ourselves. Oh no, here we go. New root. New root just dropped. New root just dropped. Oh wait, no, this is the way up. Okay, wait, what is this? Yeah, I think you want to hop back on that. There we go. Goodbye, friend. Best of luck. See you later, bro. Ugh, the organic quality of that is so gross. Do you have this? Okay. Try left. Well, we tried straight with not a lot of luck. Yeah. Maybe our other left. Yeah. Maybe our other left. Oh, there's a big, big route up that way. So maybe that's that is the thing that we could take. Big route and a big route. That's. Mm. I see a Titanite demon down that way. Yeah, and there is, as I recall, a one on the other side of the Titanite demon. But maybe I'm wrong. Those things are notoriously. No fun. There's another something past that. Is another chaos eater back there? Something. There's something. What, is that? what a good, good hallway. It's great. It <laughs> makes me really happy to look at. Um, I immediately. Okay, try that. Try your other left. Yeah. Now. What left to... is this? I think this is where I came down the first time. I think you are correct, yeah. And. But. Yeah, this way. There's a bonfire, or there's a fog gate up this way. Mm -hmm. I don't... To your left, right? To your immediate left. Yeah. I don't remember if this someone says I can't take this. I mean, it sounds like a bad thing to like walk into, but let's walk into it. Do we get? And oh, it's not despair head. Oh, it's the bed of chaos. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's right. It is. Um, All right. Well, can't leave now. Nope, can't leave. Let's hmm. see what's down here. I like to think you can. You can do. You can move through this. And there's the bed of chaos. Oh no! Here we are. Smart move. All right, so. So here's here's the bed of chaos, which is like the least, it's like the most hated boss in this entire I mean, game. In, in like, any FromSoft game, I would think. Yeah, like I think I think this is this is one of those things where they was considered a, just a just a catastrophic failure. I don't remember how to. Do it. Uh, it's uh, I think it's in the middle and drop down. Oh well, I thought the middle is after. Uh, Do we have to take we have to take out the things on the side and then Okay, yeah, that sounds right. The problem with the bed of chaos is like the stupid amount of art that you have to deal with. It is it is a a problem of execution. Yeah. But I, I always wanna love it so much because no. it's like a giant tree that hates you. This The thing about the bed of chaos is that um, we hate to do it, but I really love the concept and what like that they just went for it. Like they just they really just 
Like, yeah. Like Jesus! Like that's such a cool thing. And it's they just... have a firearm and all. Oh, and I forgot about that. But that's the that's that's the other interesting thing. Okay, so we did that one. That's not gonna come back. Oh, fucking hell! Oh my god! I'll understand if you don't want to beat the bed of chaos. No, we're we're, we're, we're we're you know what? We've come this far. We have to go on. That is. That is um... It doesn't look like you have a. Do I seriously oh not gosh. have a lost eyes Oh, grim. I can't take this either, game. Altar, the graveyard, daughters of chaos, chamber of the princess, catacombs. No. We, we guess we never, we've yet to unlock that one. Oh, that's so grim. But it's actually, it's just right around the corner, so it's not. Yeah, it should be fine. It's weird because, like, I feel like that one... I need to change my ring though, because gotta run across the lava again. Need that orange shard ring. Um... Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess this is the one at the, the front of the Lost Eyes list. It's straight back through here. Um... Right. So then I wonder what. I don't. I don't. I don't remember which one. I guess it's the one that I have not yet discovered. Um, Maybe it is the one past that, uh... The Titanite Demon, Titanite yeah. Demon. Is there a fast one? Yeah. Don't mind me, y'all. Don't mind me. They are minding you. They are. No, wait, if you climb that guy, I think you might be able to get up to something. Yeah. Wait, is there? It's below me, isn't it? The bonfire is below me. But you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's Not rest bad. at this bonfire because that's still closer than the last one. Yes, much closer. You can check what's up there or not. <laughs> yeah, still, still no lost eyes. Okay. God damn it, Derby. need that um there it is over there uh, it is funny because like in the later dark souls the people one of the things that everyone complains about is there's too many um too many bonfires and they're too close to like boss fights yes people hate that which is really funny to me because it feels to me like people really hate the boss rides in Dark Souls. <laughs> and it's like, you guys, um, what do you like, actually want from a game? Yeah, it's funny because like it is, it is a, it's very much like that, um, like that Simpsons scene where they're, uh, where they're giving thoughts on Itchy and Scratchy and they're just all the opposite. Like everything is like, I want this, but also what's opposite. And like, Dark Souls, it's always like, I want a challenge. Um, and then they're like, okay, we gave you a challenge, but we've got all the like the parts that are boring and bad about the challenge. It's like, no, I want those too. But I want it to be fun. Yeah. Kind of have a fan club. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, that's... Oh, I forgot this guy's back though. <laughs> Alright, fine. I like how they die. Like, they're like. Like, reverently. They're holding their tumbies. 
Oh. Okay, buddy. I love him. You do. Oh, wait. oh, damn. He dropped two white titanite chunks. That's pretty good. I have no Definitely need for him. white titanite, but... But thanks all the same. <laughs> Friend. Okay. So that's wait, bed of wait, chaos. Wait. Is, there, is there any... Is there any chance that we <laughs> can find the the bonfire here? Mm. Is it is it over there? Like, like to, well, to your let's, immediate let's, left? Let's, is it let's, that? You know what? Let's do the run. Let's do the run across the the the, the bridge. Let's just do it. Want to see? Okay. Yeah. I mean, why not? It would be a lot closer. He's stuck. <laughs> Lucky him, he doesn't have to die. Yeah. I like when you can time the, the second swing so that you get the combo. <laughs> Wait, what's your right in this place? Hold on. Uh, are any of these doors? Sorry, I'm being a pain. Like in contemporary Dark Souls, uh, this could be a bonfire right here, but it's not. Yes, exactly. And people complain about that because they want to have this long run to the boss, I guess. I don't actually think this. Do you? Hmm. Oh, no. I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, I can throw lightning too, bitch. But mine locks on. Oh shit, yours does a lot more damage than mine does. That's right, stagger. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, good. I didn't want to ask until you were done with that oh, guy. Yeah. Sorry, I disappeared for a little bit. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, I just was wondering what was going on there. I thought you were just being quiet while I was struggling. I mean, look, I it, it those those uh, Titanite demons are no joke. Even if you've played a lot of this game. I guess if you played a whole lot of this game, there are people for whom they may be a joke, but I certainly have never known them to be a joke. Oh. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, so you can unlock the door here, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah, and here's oh, our no, friend. Oh, no, our friend! Uh, finally. I have found it. I have. My very own son. I... Oh, it's over. My son. 
it's setting. It's dark. So dark. Boy. Rough. And then we get Solaire's stuff. Nice. Yeah, it's 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 always sad, you know, when you gotta kill your buddy Solaire. I know that I, I've talked to someone, maybe it was you, but I, I don't think it was, but perhaps, um, who was saying Solaire's story is not all that sad, because really he's just kind of like, he's a guy who is very much, I don't know, he's sort of a, uh, sunlight maggot, he's very much like a, kind of a fool, like he's, he's too sure of himself in a, in a, in a way, um, but I don't know, I, I feel sad seeing that, what happens to him. Yeah, I, I... I think I think it's I think it sucks for Solaire. Yeah, like, he's just looking for something. You know, if you look was... for something in this world, you only find horrible things. And like you know, like um, he ended up finding the sunlight maggot, which was you know, it's I mean, like Solaire, Solaire is he is he's you know the the like if you find Buddha on the road, kill him. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you find Gwyn on the road, kill if, him. if if you find if you find the sun on, on, on your on the road, uh, stab your head and take some egg for Irmafuge, I guess. Like I don't, I don't actually know if like the bonfire is there a bonfire even up here in the Demon Sage Fire Sage ruins. I don't remember. I don't. I think. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like which which is the fact. Is this closer? Yeah, right. I'm sure there's one we're just absolutely missing that is way closer, but yeah, no, there's this is pretty far. Yeah, this is this is pretty far. Well, we got Solaire done, so that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's um, I don't know. Do any of the stuff you were any of the things you got? Did they give you any? Uh, do you think they have any good lore? They actually, I'm sure they do. I mean, it's it's Solaire for God's sake. So let's see where's the should yeah sunlight right. shield. Shield of Solaire of Astora, Knight of Sunlight, decorated with a holy symbol, but Solaire illustrated it himself, and it has no divine powers of its own. As it turns out, Solaire's incredible prowess is a product of his own training and nothing more. Mm, this is something that I won't give away the spoiler, but this is something that happens in Dark Souls 2 as well. Yeah. Um, the talisman of Solaire of Astora, the Knight of Sunlight, is decorated with a holy symbol illustrated by Solaire himself. The talisman mm. is a projection of Solaire's upstanding, unwavering faith. Uh, let's see. Well, let's, we got his sword somewhere. And like his, uh, his armor itself, right? Yeah. A sun straight sword. Yeah, sword. Sun straight sword. The standard longsword belonging to Solaire of Astora is of high quality, is well forged, and has been kept in good repair. Easy to use, dependable, but unlikely to live up to its grandiose name. Um, Just like Solaire himself. Yeah, uh, what is it? It's um It's a quality weapon. It doesn't scale in faith or anything like that. It doesn't do anything special. It's just a straight sword. I love I love that it doesn't scale on faith. That's such a good touch. Yeah. Um, okay, now let's check out. Got some Solaire. The Iron Helm. There we go. Um, Helm of Solaire of Astora, Knight of Sunlight, of high quality, but lacking any particular powers. Solaire's incredible prowess must have come from rigorous training alone, for his equipment exhibits no special traits. Mm. Um which is one of those things that I kind of love about Solaire. Like his, he's got the iron hell. Like it, you couldn't get more basic than that. Oh really. yeah, it's just it's level one stuff. He's just he's so. Oh wait, look, what's a sunlight maggot? Oh, that's steel? right. We should read this. Uh, a loathsome parasite that inhabits Lost Isles. It is completely immobile. It still lives. When worn mm. on the head, it emanates blinding light, which is why it is known as a sunlight maggot. Um, that's one of the things you can come down here. You can get that. Uh, if you do the covenant, you can get that early. And, oh, um, okay. And then do tomb of giants. Yeah. And then you can wear that on your head. Um, it's a good time. Uh, huh? Poor but, Solaire. Um, let's 
see. We've got some some, some armor of the sun. Let's see. Armor of Solaire of Stora, Night of the Sunlight. The large holy symbol of the sun, all powerless, was painted by Solaire himself. I like um I like the construction here. So we have the large holy symbol of the sun, you know, uh, while powerless was painted by Solaire himself, which like gives it a little bit sense of like, no, but you know, like it's not it's not disparaging that it was painted by Solaire. It's just like, you know, you'd think it would be something, but no, it was just painted by him. He's just a good it's dude. It's fascinating. It's fascinating because like the like the whole thing about it is like it 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 makes him out to sort of be like this this absolutely sort of like ascetic faithful person, but he's like he he is never rewarded for it. No. In any way. Yeah. And all of his other stuff is just um like yeah. even like Big Hat Logan gets more rewarded than he does. Yeah. Because Big Hat Logan, well, Big Hat Logan, he's, you know, um, he's the Twilight Zone version. You know, he gets, yeah, he gets exactly what he wants. It just turns out that that's, you know, being suffused with that much sorceress knowledge uh, is bad for you. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. It's um, you become insane. Yeah. So there. Solaire doesn't. Solaire thinks he fi he's he's fine what he wants, but really it, it's it's the false, you know. He he finds you know the the, the false son, um, and it's it's that's his tragedy, uh, which is why like I, I kind of fuck Big Hat Logan because it's just like, yeah, buddy, you didn't you didn't think that like, getting the real ultimate power was going to fuck you up. Like nope. Solaire got he sick. He... Yeah, no, you're right. Like it, Big Hat Logan is very much a. He just thinks he's too powerful to fail. Yeah, like he's convinced. Like, no, he's the no. It's gonna be different for me, guy. When like you know, uh, getting the One Ring or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You're left there. I so wish there was something over there. Every time. I but... know. No. Down. Oh, let's give Bad of Chaos another shot. Yeah, you, know, you just gotta do it sometimes. The thing about Bad of Chaos that's weird is like I feel like you have to do it three times. You it almost can, do. Like because it's like a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Probably could have waited till I got down there to cast it, but yeah, whatever. Because like the one side, it's burned out now, and now we got to do the other side. Yeah, I do like how it keeps the progress. Well, like God, can you? Im <laughs> can you imagine? I could. I don't want to, but I could. <laughs> it is interesting that, like, I guess we're on four deaths now? Yeah. Um, the pick that I still have the stupid thing equipped. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just like, I couldn't remember. I was like, did, did, did I make sure to have that? forgot she can knock you into the the holes while the holes are being created still it's really funny like i mean that's really the problem with the bed of chaos is that it just gets so much free reign to destroy you yeah yeah what we need to do do this oh smart
get your agility, get your endurance up. Yeah. Or endurance refresh. I, I do. Guess. I like that. Like Dark Souls gives you multiple, you know, uh, means of restoring, of like, of getting this the 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 chloranthi buff. But like, yeah. Because like you've got. Well, the Clarence ring. Yeah, you got the ring. You've got this. There's, there's, there's like at least one other way. I bye love bye. having it. I don't think I've ever played the game without almost all the time having some sort of buff like that on. That's not such a bad run, really. If you think about it, no. There. Not bad at all. Bear ahead. I can't take this. <laughs> okay, Derb, we got this. We got this. This is going to happen. Oh. No, I don't need it. Oh. You don't need it. You don't need it. Say, wow, that's... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's five. <laughs> that's rough. Uh, don't appreciate what they did to Derby there. No. Uh... no that, was, that, was, that was all Derby. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. It's just like it's it's like you've got like you know the 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 multiple like the wards you have to break through and it's just I think the interesting thing about that is I'm not sure how I feel about the bed of chaos having like kind of wards because mm -hmm. on the one hand it's like okay I know this is this is this is what happened to the witch of Isla like she you know, she got corrupted by the chaos flame but like. I guess that makes sense in, in a way, thinking about, like, you know, if, if she was making it and trying to protect herself or whatever, like, and it going wrong, she would be, like, a yeah, like would sort of add up. Like it, yeah, like, it, 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 it adds up to me that, like, you know, she um, she was in the middle of, like, you know, doing ritual, and, like, then this happened, and she became this weird wood structure thing. But on the other hand. But on the other hand, like, fuck you, wards. Come on. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna actually we're not gonna we're not gonna put it up as we go down. We'll wait till we get down there. And that will slow us down so we don't immediately <laughs> get hit by that stupid hand. It's so brutal. Just like Um, excuse me. That's rude. Well, it, you had zero souls, so... It's... I know, but it's just very funny. That... It's also interesting that when you break the wards, she seems to get some of her flame power back. Mm-hmm. Which well, is... Because she's being idea, set on but... fire? But there's also that, that quality of the, um, the old magic, right? God, God damn it. Oh, that is rough. I think can I want around the back edge? I can't remember. That is really unfair. I can't remember if I can run around the back edge. I'm just gonna try that this time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's bullshit. Especially because I feel like Derby is made of boys. That's right, Derps. That I do, I do really like. Um, the Witch of Isleth is like my favorite, kind of like of the major players. Um, uh, she's like the only one that like actually like of interest to me because, um, you know, she sets so much in motion. Yeah. 
but is so much in the background. Mm -hmm. And like even like the oh god, oh god. I was gonna say even her most sort of visible markings, like her daughters, are subterranean. Yeah. I think the fact that Gwyn is not interesting is what is a good marker of his of like his quality as a character. Mm -hmm. That like he's this he's this hero, right? But ultimately, when you get down to it, he's just like he's just the same as any other like Gilgameshian sort of guy. <laughs> like yeah, I mean that's that's Gwyn's deal. I don't really guess I don't need this. What what can I? Um, hmm. I'm. I really wish that, like, you know, um, poise. You boost your poise. <laughs> I really, like, I really wish poise worked that way. Yeah. Well, I got nothing, do I? And chloranthi doesn't stack. Havels mm. isn't necessary. Um, you can do fire def, I guess. Yeah. I guess that's probably the most useful at this point. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. This is the problem with Bed of Chaos, where you just be like, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it, it, it's the Dark Souls problem where you get the you get the boss that is just like a headache, and it's like, okay, well, how do I do this? Um, and you start you start doing things that like you know don't work, like going around the back end. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that sucks. Oh, no. oh, I was just so tense there. Oh. There we go. Wonderful. So that sets up this hole. I think so the thing in the middle is the flame of chaos. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the that chaos right? flame, yeah. And like, look yeah, at that yeah, shit. Okay. That shit's so cool. I it's would try like, and get it. It's such a shame that, like. You should heal yourself. Yeah. Sorry. I, I know how often I forget. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. That's right. Because then it does this and it traps you here and. <laughs> now I have to figure out a way to get to the middle. All right, all right, you got this. Now that's the drop down part, the middle. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, you have to hit. Damn it! You have to hit that exact spot. Thing. Yeah. It sucks so much, but you got it this time. Yeah. So now I just have to do that. <laughs> really, that is the thing where it's like, um, it's rare that you make that run back and like, oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Forgot about that. Which is funny because that just shows you the difference between the uh, the flame defense ring and the uh, the orange ring, the orange shard ring. Yeah. Because the, the I mean honestly, the, <laughs> the flame ring did too shit. <laughs> We got this. Got this. It's just a matter of falling exactly on the right route. See, that's the other problem with the bed. So, like, there's there's like a number of maybe the ultimate problem with the bed of chaos is that it rests on kind of confused design, where like it wants to be so many different things and like it just isn't. Like, it wants to be a jumping puzzle at the end. Yeah. It's like, but but why? <laughs> It wants to be a puzzle, but then it can't be a jumping puzzle, and then it wants to sort of also be a traditional boss fight with the hands. Well, and so it, if you yeah. just if you just pick one, and like it's the thing is that like it, it is a confused design, and it's also like you know it's it wants you to be it wants to be a slow boss fight. You know, it wants to be right. one of those boss fights where you're thinking about what's happening, 
but it also can't stop being frenetic for five fucking seconds. Right. It reminds me, like, I, uh, I've i brought this up before on the stream, but, like, the the bosses in Demon Souls, how, like, there are at least, at least the one dragon, but, like, I feel like there are more that do that thing where it's, like, they're they're puzzles and they're slow and it's like okay like, yeah this is a this is a slow boss you have to wait through this you have to kind of figure this out and no no boss in dark souls really goes all the way into that no i mean like you think about like that that first boss uh, or not the first boss the second boss um uh, <laughs> like what, this, this the better chaos just has no fucking chill okay oh. bitch oh, no. Bitch. Rude. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Oh. <laughs> it's just like the way she's doing it is she's like just like sweeping up the uh, the cards on a blackjack table or something. Like yeah. But like, that's the thing. It's like the, 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 the bed of chaos has no chill. And it is like, no. and it is the one boss like in this game that I think really should be the slowest. Um, they stuck too much to the theme of what the bed of chaos is. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, well, it's chaos. It, you know, it's the mad witch of Isolith now, but you still have to fight it. <laughs> Throw me exactly one bone, please. Honestly, it's weird to me that like. Light has, you know, um, a, a kind of a mouthpiece in this game, and dark has a mouthpiece. You know, the the the, the first flame has, you know, a mouthpiece. Chaos doesn't. Um, right. Not really. I mean, like, I guess the closest you get is the the pale uh, lady. Um, It sort of reminds me of the way that, like, I feel like a lot of modern understandings of myth think about chaos and ancient myth. Like, I was thinking about uh, Hades and, like, the way they show um, sort of chaos in that, right? Like, it's the, just basically the the ur darkness under the ur under the realm that you're in. And, like, it's always like, oh, it's just so, so strange and impossible to understand and everything. And... You know, it has a voice more so than the than the chaos flame of chaos does. But like, I feel like chaos has is like more voiced, more vocal, more sort of like agential in um, ancient myth. Yeah, than we, we give it credit for. <laughs> Come on. There. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say. Someone should write a message here that says, like, I did it. But I know you can't when you're in a boss fight. <laughs> that would, would be, be wonderful, though. Oh, maybe someone did. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you could do it after. And that's it. Yeah, that's all. It's a little, it's a little weird little bug. bug. There. Just like, uh, just like poor Solaire. What happened there? Got a little jump. You did it. You did it, person. Oh, that's right. I was on the bonfire. That's why. It's oh. a, there's a bonfire underneath the witch. <laughs> basically. Oh, wait, don't forget to rest. Oh, yeah. That's a good, good call. <laughs> You know what? Let's level up. Let's. Yeah, I got a lot of souls. Thanks. But so, so this is. This is the bed of chaos. Um, which is interesting. Um, like I, th I think the bed of chaos is like one of like, the more interesting things in the game. Can we see her? No, she's gone now. And so it's a flame of. Um, because that was it. It was just this little bug. Um, 
And it's weird that it's a bug. And I don't know what to make of that. Um, yeah, no, I agree. It's it's very much like the little parasite for Solaire, but chaos. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I've, I've never seen that described as a parasite. It's it's to spell right or something along those lines. Yeah, um, but like it's it's weird because it's like, so we have the we had the flame of chaos. I mean, we should probably read the Lord's Soul. Um, yes, definitely. While we while we're here. Um, where can we, there we go. You know, bed of chaos, mother of demons. Soul of the bed of chaos and the mother of all demons. This Lord soul was found at the dawn of the age of fire. Wow. The witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power mm. formed a bed of life which would become the source of all demons and is more than enough to satiate the Lord Vessel. Interesting. Yeah. like it's, So it, it's sort of a Prometheus story in that way. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's, there's like a Promethean quality to it. There's also, um, you know, we have a, a, a Pandora quality to it. Um, but like, it's interesting because, you know, it's, Whereas, you know, Pandora, her curiosity is what, you know, causes her to open the box. This, it's her, you know, like, I guess it is in a way. It's it's a, a curiosity. It is, you know, science. It's ambition. It's, yeah. it's the ambition to power through, you know. it's. I mean, in some ways, it's. I, I can see why you, why anyone who would play the game the correct way would uh, would sympathize with her in that, like, the, the um, like, the Witch of Isolith does what you, like, I think most everyone does at the end of the game, which is, you know, you try and kill God, right? Like that's, that's her whole point. She's trying to take the first flame and make it and remake it, which would sort of like remove the need for higher powers in Lordran. Yeah. It's, it's also interesting because like, you know, her goal is to re is to make it from a soul, you know? And like, yeah. Um, what does that say about the first flame itself to begin with? Yeah. Like that's, that's the thing is like, what, what, what then is the first flame, you know, uh, given what we know about it? Like, if you could remake it from a soul and that goes wrong, like, you know, why did she choose to do this? Like, what, you know, like, the first yeah. flame was going wrong. Um, clearly, you know, the, the people who are linked to the flame must have, like, you know, we can assume they probably felt that in some way. Um, I would assume, yeah, and I mean, in in that like, you now are the one who has to link the flames again, and the fact that you give souls at the bonfire, that souls are such a, an important part of what you're doing in the game to begin with. Like, I don't know, it's something very, I don't know, troubling about that. I guess. Yeah. There's our dragon friend. I love him. Huh. Um, I think this is where because now Sigalinda is gone and we did the thing with with our buddy Sigmeyer and if I'm not mistaken they come back here after that that would make sense I think, is that them over there or is that I, oh that's a crap No, yeah. Let's just. I thought they'd come down here at the end. But I don't. You're right. I don't uh, think first there's... bonfire. Okay, first bonfire after the Great Hollow. Yeah. But you can't warp to. Which is... It's just like dicks. Yeah, that's really irritating. Um, it's interesting that like, so if I've done this correctly. Um, oh, no, apparently. No. Wow. So um, if you speak, so you're supposed to speak with them. No, you know, I think it should move work, right? Because he survived oh, and no. he commented like, you know, we, we triggered him before we went 
Danny now can... it does it does say if if he if he doesn't fight the if it, he doesn't fight the chaos eaters at all oh. then he'll um he'll survive and the quest line ends there oh it ends there that's a bummer i couldn't remember if the deal there well no so i don't know let's find out we're just gonna run over here yeah. So in theory, dear listeners, uh, dear viewers, uh, Sigmire's um, quest ends here in Ash Lake. If you, if you follow the steps correctly, uh, it ends here. And um, it's a whole big, it's a whole big thing because yeah. he's really, yeah, no, he's not here. Damn, that sucks. That's a shame. Um, if you've been watching along, it's worth watching like just Sigmire's ending because um, it's 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 it is a kind of like heartbreaking. Um, basically, he's a dude who realizes he he keeps needing help from other people and he can't do it himself, uh, and he has these pretensions of being a great hero. Um, and you basically you rob him of them. Every, at every step of the way, the only way you could progress is to basically rob him of his um, his hopes and dreams of becoming, of being a brave knight. Uh, and he goes hollow. Um, and his daughter has to put him down, basically. So. That's crushing. Yeah, it's like, it's really, it's really just like a, a really profoundly good, heartbreaking moment. Uh, I'm sad it's not here. Um, but that's what we get for trying to keep him alive. And that's, that would be Derby. The Derby did that. Like that's, that is a Derby move. That is a Derby move. Looking at it and saying like, there's no reason for you to. Yeah. This is, this is not, this is, this makes no sense. So I, I like that she stayed true to her character. And, and so, so we give a shout out to Sigmire. And Love you, Sigmire. Glad you didn't go hollow. Um, well, he probably still, it's <laughs> just, He's just somewhere in Lost Island. <laughs> Technically, he's alive. He's still alive. Yeah. He just kind of... Yeah. Some, some he just worse. found Sigalinda, and then she said, hey, let's just, like, let's just start a store in the uh, Undead Parish. God. But, yeah. So there we go. There we have it. Um, and I think that's it. We did we did two zones. I wasn't expecting to do two Unbelievable. zones. Unbelievable. But, but, hey, we did it. And next time, we're going to be doing uh, New Londo. Um, Londo. New Londo and God shit I think that's it before the DLC yep yeah and then we'll it be, is. don't be done yeah, unbelievable well the DLC will take a little bit the DLC will take a little bit yeah um, the DLC is uh, can be intense it could can, it can be it could be a dick slap um, but Derby's ready for it <laughs> Derby's Derby's tough Derby's Derby yes. tough yes it's fucking love. Hold on. There we go. Come on, Derby. Derby, show us your moves. That's right. <laughs> I love All it. All right. Trevor, where can the people find you? Uh, they can find me at Hagelbon on Twitter, and the podcast is called No Cartridge, and the book's called Story Mode. It's coming out very soon. And where can they get the book? Besides Everywhere. the description. <laughs> Uh, it is on Amazon. It's on bookshop.org. If you, if you prefer not to use Amazon, although if you're outside of the country, Amazon seems to be the way to do it. Um, it's also, if you're worried about the supply chain, as many people seem to be, uh, it is an ebook too. So you can, you can get it that way as well. Um, but yeah, just, uh, any, any, any bookseller, you know, uh, the, um, the, uh, just if you Google story mode and Trevor Strunk, you should find it. Uh, at any of them and i'll put a link somewhere in the description so that you can just click on that clicky clicky thank you thank you um it's a good book i i blurbed it uh it's a good i'm, I'm in it <laughs> shit you um, are you are dark souls is in not, it if you like, not just if you and like also this let's play on dark souls yeah yes. if you like this let's play you should probably read trevor's book because it is incredibly uh related um it is interrelated um so yeah, it's true. So get get Trevor's book. 
subscribe to No Cartridge, listen to the podcast. I'm going to be over there eventually because I'm working my way through Final Fantasy 14 and I'm almost done with Shadowbringers, um, which is a lie, so but I'm not. There's like a whole, just like two other fucking post game patches. Listen, they they get shorter. <laughs> Actually, I think you're right about that. I think I'm about done with the next one. 5.3 is the long one. Oh, fuck. Get through it. I'm not even on that. I'm a 5.2. Anyway. Oh, no. Yeah. 5.3 is long. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you know what's not long? Dark Souls. We out. Bye, y'all. Bye. That was fun. That was so good. That was sick as hell.